Hey, hello, what's up? Welcome to a desert where we actually have vision, even though we're still on our quest to vision. Two vision, four vision. We're, we're looking for some vision out here. My name is Mecca. We're playing some vision quests. How are you all doing? Let me know if you can hear me all right. If you can hear the music all right. It's, it's pretty soft music today. I don't know what the comet music is going to be like, but the music isn't supposed to be very loud in this map. <laughs> hello, Alexander, did you ditch? Lara because she has Amelia's face? No, I ditched Lara because her stats are bad. I ditched her because she wasn't leveling up well. And, uh, you know, even if I wanted to bring her back at this point, she's on 200 leveled. I mean, unit slots are a bit limited, so there you go. I also ditched Larissa, kind of. She's on the bench at le level 19, because she sucks. <laughs> she's bad. While well, Lara's bad in general, I know, right? Anyway, I uh, hope you're doing fine. This is the map. I thought this was a troll at first. Like, if you just look at this, it's just a bunch of red dots in the sands. I thought, when you think of, like, a ROM hack, usually the number one design philosophy is to be better than vanilla and not have a spammy map. And here we are with, like, a bunch of red, but I'm sure Panan's got a great reason for it. Thank you, AP Realism. I think the Path Reigns OTST still plays. Yeah, it's very soft. I'll, I'll let it go. There you go. Now it's completely gone. It was, uh, was kind of there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was kind of there. It's FE10, by the way, but not, not Path of Rains, but same thing. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen exactly turn one. I don't know how many of these dudes rush me. I do need a desert map, actually. I just realized I forgot to open it up. Um, vision quests. Fortunately, Pandan provided that thing. And also, he's marked the secret shop, which is very nice. The secret shop is here, where the arrow is. And the member card is, uh, I think, around here somewhere. So we can just get that. Let me see if I can get the desert map here. Maybe we can even get it on screen, but we need the food counter too, so this will be this will be interesting. Let me see. Resources. Desert map items. Hold on a second. I could probably get it on screen. I'll just have to replace the food counter for one second. You guys won't mind, won't you? Uh, desert items. That way we can actually see what we're doing here. It'll probably look a little bit scuffed. It's probably going to be too small. Cringe. Alright, top of the chat is gone for now. You guys won't be able to see the chat. Do we need this? You guys don't need this. Come on, I need this. That's all. Okay, bye. I'll just, I'll just make it pop up whenever necessary. I'll just put it on my screen. Yeah, you'll need our monitor. That'll be it. You guys don't need to see the desert item locations. I just need to see them. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what kind of tournaments we're facing. It looks like, a, like there's too many enemies already. There's not going to be reinforcements, right? Hey, what's up, Tuvilio? Tuf Tuvilo, there you go. Thank you. Thank you for your kind comments. Anyway, I'm just going to kill some enemies, and if we somehow die in turn one, then we'll we'll see what we need to do to fix it. Uh, I'll set my two best units, Figalus and uh, Stork, this direction. I'll uh, we'll have him use uh, an Iron Sword real quick here. It feels very problematic to deploy on a level units. Yeah, it could be worse. I mean, I don't think Larissa is terrible, but I just, I, I'm, I'm thinking of feeling her again next chapter, or whenever we stop getting desert maps. Which I know is not immediately because someone spoiled it. Um, by the way, please don't spoil the gameplay for me. Even like little things like that, please just don't. This thief has a Lance Reaver, right? Or Wing Cleeper and Lance Reaver, yeah. So this is why we have to actually use this here. Uh, so we'll get the Hand Axe out. Uh, do we shove up? I don't think so. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some more desert after this. I think my plan was for Bosco to take out this mage. His accuracy is Sussy Baka. So we could use three instead, but I kind of want three to go here to take on this group here. Uh, we have oh, we need to move Osain first. I kind of want a barrier. Let's barrier Shushi. What's up, Nip Dimension Bun? Because I said it right the first time. Oh, it's actually Tvilio. I don't see a an eye in there, but maybe I'm just bad at looking at things. Okay, I'm gonna kill a merm and then. I mean, actually, I don't really care about going that far in. Maybe I should just kill this mage with high accuracy and let the sniper suicide, this archer suicide, excuse me. Yeah, I think I'll just do this because he's taking a hit rate for a reason. You wanna know about maps having special conditions for guiding chapters? Um, yeah, that's one exception that I would like to know, actually. That's right, that's a good question. Generally, if it's fine for me to just discover myself, sure. If it looks like I'm gonna be missing something big. And please do tell me. Uh, and I consider Gynam maps to be somewhat big. I feel the two rogues so that one of them can go fetch items on the one side and the other one can do it on the other side. So hopefully that won't be a problem. Uh, I wonder if we can kill here with a Javi. 
We cannot. I can probably finish him off. I, I promoted Duck, by the way, for those of you who missed the end of last episode. We promoted Duck. He's like level 18 promoted, I want to say. Look at this, like, do this. This is fine. Don't let anybody die and recruit everyone. You'll get all the guy chapters with one. Yeah, okay, so when we get to the one where that's not the case, let me know. Or if I, like, if a character dies, I guess let me know if I need him for anything. Um, I'm generally gonna reset for death, though. Okay, so now to bring us the gun, we just put um, Sarka on this thing. Uh, we got a new unit, Vernon. Here's a combo with S3 that we might as well get out of the way before they're gonna, you know, part ways. I think we need to physic Dewey right now, so let's just get talk. Hey, Sage Vernon, how'd you find us? Ah, S fear. I think it is better to say we found each other, I suppose. How do you fare? It's been over three years since we left the capital. I did not know you were now residing in Mahala. After you and your daughter left, I did not have any students. I continued my studies in the Royal Library, <laughs> but felt the start of a change in policy. Fellow sages mysteriously vanishing, shadowy figures with elder magic taking their places one by one. I no longer felt safe. I came to Mahala not only for the dry heat, which is wonderful on the joints, is it? <laughs> but to full study here and take refuge. Take refuge, I think is what it's supposed to say. Um, I misread that. It is only recently I have felt a similar presence here. Elder magic. We came across a group of shamans in an old cemetery in Bolaro. Mm. That's right. It's when we have met Gunner, Gunner, right? Yeah, he's a good beard. That's a good sprite. This map, this this hack has great sprites. When we pressed them, they simply lashed back harder. I presume this is connected. Indeed, troubling times in our dear country, as fear. Let us hope it is not as terrible as we fear. That's what I tell you about my uh, my level ups. And then here we are. Uh, I mean. Right now, this guy can't really attack anyone I care about, so maybe this is, it's fine to hold back with our thieves a little bit. Let the Shaman suicide and we'll go from there. Um, Bosco... I mean, I do want to move Osain forward, as well as uh, Bosco. Uh, don't need to mend that. Get here. Oh, we're gonna kill Marlon this chapter, by the way. Uh, this, we're gonna attempt to do so. Go here. Yeah, I, th I think actually she will not to Shaman, but I put out of range for some dumb reason, so... We're gonna camp out here instead. We're gonna camp on this fort so that no, nothing can come out. I do have an earth seal, but I want to give her like one more level. She's at so close to leveling up after all. Here goes. Let's see what goes on here. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like most fireman maps where a portion of the enemy moves, but not all of them. You double? No, okay. That's fine. Ice wing clipper. I'm assuming these are just like meant to be flyer deterrents. Eat Marlin for Stork's mental health? Nah. I don't want anyone to die. Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill Marlon the Shepherd. I mean, does that make me miss something? Because I'm only doing it to free up support points. <laughs> Dude, 37 hit bolting is not allowed to hit me. Oh, that's why I wanted the sensory over there, so we can kill this bolting mage, but... Unfortunately, he has a fork now. Alright, Osain, here you go. <laughs> I don't want anyone to die, it's just I didn't... I was I thought I was gonna use Marlon, then I decided not to. Marlon doesn't lock any guidance. Oh, okay. Well, shit, Marlon. It's being real. Goodbye. All right, let's go, Bosco. My name for a Gaiden. Hmm, conflicting information chat. But Alexander sounded way more sure. Yeah, there you go. He sounded way more sure of himself. So I'll presume that they're right. They're correct. Okay, there's a longbow archer. Okay, so this is gonna be a bunch of scrubs that I have to fight, like a lot of scrubs. Please don't have many reinforcements, please. If this map is just as tedious as the other desert route maps in the series, and this is the worst map of Vision Quest, Vision Quest, so I'm assuming there's some kind of redeeming factor here. Come on. Okay. You know, I would complain about bad accuracy, but I'm using a hand axe on like a desert, so... And a forest, actually. Oh, Thief, where do you think you're going? Uh, you can't escape me. Um, well, maybe you can. Maybe you have to do some sword reaping. The thing is, though, it's not a very safe area to go. Or Helga. There's a warrior here that can shoot me. I mean, I don't know where this thief is going, but he's probably going to try to escape the map with my Earth Seal, which I want. Uh, Helga's my only flyer. You could fly in and rescue staff. I don't know if she one shots, though. Do you have a Sword Reaver on you? You don't. Do you have the Sword Reaver? No, no. I mean, Stork technically has it, right? There's no way Stork is hitting this guy from range. Stork can go here, and then she can take the Sword Reaver out of the convoy. Presumably. 
Uh, I can't check the convoy, but I'm pretty sure it's in there. I mean, I can't check the convoy, but I don't want to dedicate my moves. Oh, so yeah, actually, you can do the the sister's hope, and you can get them. Yeah, we have to hit. It. We have to hit a 63, but if we don't, we have backups, right? So we do this, and then we trade with him if he uh, if he if this works out. Nice one. Okay, that works. The two three range bow, which everyone asks. There's at least one person asking every week how you get it, which is kind of cute. So I'm gonna keep that advice. That that, that advice. I I don't. I should talk while reading the chat. Um, I'll, let's keep that tradition up. Let's deposit this earth seal. And then we can, uh, you're shielding, kind of shielding. We can have Helga like wrap up the things here. Um, so we can like, go here and hand axe or even iron axe. We're not gonna counter a whole lot here anyway, but I guess there's no reason not to use a hand axe then. Hand axe, the, um, let's try this. Always works. Advice for getting good at harder FE modes. I keep wimping on FE three houses and dropping back to normal at the end. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, don't play hard modes. Uh, if you do want to learn, I mean, I have a lot of videos about getting better at Fire Emblem on my channel, uh, Fire Emblem Pitfalls. Um, you know, my own Let's Plays, I guess, might be instructional at some point. So there's ways to learn. Um, Anime Chess is a good series to follow. It's only got one video so far, but that's another way to follow to get better, I suppose. Uh, I wonder if Martin can get a kill at this point in the game. Oh damn, he actually can. Let's not give it to him though. <laughs> Insane. Uh, we gotta heal Bosco. We, we gotta train out here. Uh, Esphere, I suppose. Esphere needs a little bit more XP. Uh, wait, Sword Slayer? Oh, Killer Axe, I see. Well, that's scary. The Kito Saba map. Yeah, I love the people that sound like they're straight from a manga. Kito Saba. Oh, you don't kill. That's right, you don't double. That's cringe. Unfortunate. Uh, heal Bosco to full. One thing I do want to do this turn is have Sri kill the Bolting Mage so that he screws off. Also, a lot of the enemies, other enemies didn't move. Like, a lot of them just stand still, it seems. Strangely enough. Let's see. Yeah, nothing can really threaten Sri here. Like, he's going to get attacked maybe once, whatever. Kito Sawa. Omae wa. Bye. Yeah, yeah. The unit building is really the most fun of three houses. I absolutely agree. I my Discord um, sub title thing right now is like Revelations is better than. Let me check if I can get the member card free this turn. I think so. I have to be close to the prompt. Wait, this map is not up to date, is it? Maybe I'm misseeing things. Hold up. No, it's actually up to date. Never mind. I was looking at it the wrong way. Okay, so member card is near that one tree. You guys can't see what I'm pointing at. I'm working on the next Anime Chess episode, but it's, it takes a while because this one's VOD is even longer than the last one. And I'm trying to see if I can cut it down or if it's have to deal with the fact that it's very long. Like, I know a lot of people will say, well, yeah, we'll, we'll watch it even if it's longer, but like, you guys are already subscribed. I'm trying to get some new subscribers through it too. So I'm trying to see if I can cut it down. Because right now it's like one and a half hour long. And I, I feel like this series shouldn't just be me commentating on a long ass VOD. But at the same time, I think almost everything I say is of value, so it's hard to cut anything out. Is there anything else here I can get? Not really. Oh, the, the thing actually stretched up quite far. Does it get to the tree? No, above the tree is fine though. Let's go here. Uh, we can even pivot. There's no point to that. Member card. Okay, we gotta keep that handy on him because we need the secret shop over here. I did sell some items so we can like actually buy some things there. Okay, so we did that. I guess Duck can go for the kill. He's not gonna get into the desert anyway, like not very far. Although we could put him at range of this guy. So we can try to get the kill with the Iron Axe, I suppose. Or just the Lance. He has Lances now. You could trade. But he puts Sands of Time. Oh, you mean mine Sands of Time? So I never mentioned this in an episode because I never find a good time to say it, but my own VODs are horrible choices for analyzing because I already spend a long time analyzing my own moves, and so I'd, I'm, the chances of me finding like better moves than what I already did are not very good. I mean, I'll probably find some. Wait, you support Duck? Yo, gaming. He doesn't have any support yet either. Let's go. Trade. Uh, hatchets. Supports. But yeah, the chances of me finding uh, better moves than what I already did is not very high because obviously my own playstyle is reflected almost perfectly in those VODs. I'll probably see something. Anyway, you've got a unique writing style. 
I haven't seen it before. Are you Nivanese? Nope, I'm from Maston. <laughs> You're not the first to comment on the style, but I guess not too many folks from Maston come from far e come far east. I'm from Horshot, but moved to Balti as a youth. I never meet people from that far out west, sadly. Uh, Mustinians are alright. We are some of the best cavaliers you'll see, though. Never mind all that. What's your name? I'm Sarka, an Imperial Knight of Navan. Well met. Call me Duck. <laughs> She's like, are you serious? <laughs> Three unit fuels boxes checked. You mean Duck? I mean, he's just funny. <laughs> it's just... Honestly, he gets there on the name alone, really. There's no way to get Sri not attacked by this Myrmidon. That's completely fine. Ruby Sword is not going to be too bad. I would like to intercept a Killing Axe before it hits me, but it's fine if it doesn't. And also, like, in time to save the village, which is also good. Uh, Titus is going to, like, stick around here. Probably might even end up, like, taking the village by himself. Oh, we could have double shoved S-Sphere into this uh, tree here. That would have baited to bring it over. I guess it's not, like, great. We can just play your face instead. Uh, I'm going to send a healer to this squad. I'm going to send Vernon here. Just so he can help out if need be. And we'll send Osain over here. And five on this fort. <laughs> The baldness in the eye patch. Fair enough. Donald. <laughs> Donald Duck. <laughs> Disney's gonna copyright strike the stream if you do that. Did I trade with uh, Begatus? Because there's no one next to him, so I think he might have a bow equipped. I might have forgotten to put anyone next to him. Maybe I can't out. Not sure what happened there. I feel like I put a hand axe on him. I think... Did I? I think I did. The three checkboxes. Duck, duck, and duck. Wow. Ow. Blind Coco, are you the only other person on the subreddit with the downbet flare? I mean, you have dev done, right? I have done that. You have dev done. Wow. Easy. Yo, goodbye. Design time stream itself is a great concept for the... It is, but probably not by me. I mean, so here's the thing, right? Um, if I went and look, what went back... Why do you have open triangles advantage? You're using a light brand. Okay, probably that's how that works. The thing about that stream is... Honestly, what I should have just done is just not gone on the offensive. That's basically it. And then everything else that happened afterwards, I mean, obviously it went wrong. <laughs> yeah, see, I knew you were that guy. Okay. Alright. So you definitely have the hand axe. It just didn't do a whole lot for you. Well, nothing is going to hurt me here. Uh, you have a... You can get the sword for now, but since you're not hurt, you're not going to one round. You should just promote this turn, honestly. Let's... Iron sword or something, and I just hand axe and just like go burr on these enemies with stork. Yeah, sure. Real recognizes real. I know, right? Only real ones allowed here. <laughs> I am replaying Three Houses now, but I took a break on that playthrough because part two is so boring, man. Part two is so boring. Do we shove him a little bit closer to like the front lines here? I mean, I guess. Yes. Uh, trade. Get the hand axe. Shove. And I think I heal after promoting. I think that gets me more HP. Uh, we can even put it in range of a Pegasus Knight. That seems fine. Just don't want uh, Vernon to be in range. So you go here. I love moving my flyers one square per turn. Game official or ROM hack? ROM hack. See description as well for more answers to your questions. In case you wanted them. Okay, promoted Helga. I, I feel like my Helga's not too great. Uh, the speed is definitely lagging behind, but maybe that's just how our average stats, how our average stats work out. But she seems good enough anyway. She's fine. Okay, and oh, we can cancel extra promoting. That's cool. Uh, that's not possible in normal GBA games, I think. But quality of life. Three hundred houses. Yeah, I'm in the chapter where you have to like chase the Death Knight, and like with the chapter with like all the seizable borders with reinforcements coming from them, it's just so tedious to get through, because the only unit I have that, like, really does well in enemy phase is Baltus. Everyone else is kind of cringe. I'm using all the uh, DLC characters, minus Anna, so, like, all the Ashen Wolves. Um, oh, this guy's in an annoying spot. What do you have? Steel Sword, Short Spear, Steel Lance, Sapphire Lance, Steel Sword. Okay, so, I just want to use Bosco here, I guess, and see if his 13 defense does a job here. I guess it might... Who else has bulk? Like, I guess Duck has more bulk, technically, so we could use him instead. You Oko with something? He's really close. If he had, like, a better weapon, he would have Oko'd. Uh, any stealables here? No, right? 
Not as far as I can see. There's some sea levels here, definitely. I sold some of my elixirs just to get more things from the shop. So I'm looking for more, because they're basically gems in this game. Uh, we can... I do want to kill this guy most, I think. He's like no chance to hit me. Let's kill the killer act guy. Burn does have a beard on his battle sprite. It's your out of 10 ROM hack. Yeah, this, uh... The sprite work doesn't really take into account details like that. Just like with the eye patch on Duck, am I right? Uh, I would like to kill an S sphere if I can, but I don't really want to leave the S sphere in range here. Maybe this is where we like suicide Marlin into a Myrmidon. I think he's gonna like die first, but we can just, like go for this. If it somehow works out great, if it doesn't work out and he dies, you know, so be it. Yeah, Duck's his hair. This is true. Because now this Myrmidon's probably gonna attack Marlin and like nearly kill him, and then we can suicide him to anything we want. Big brain. Um, Sidus, I guess, can go for the Weaken. Uh, not like that. Not like this. I guess Arcwind is not too bad to equip here. Go for the Weaken, kill with the Duck. He does take a lot of damage, but we have our Heroes on standby anyway. Sidus is really only here because he has two leadership stars, which is a lot of hit and avoid. Like, I think it gives, like, plus 10 hit, right? It's really good. Uh, whoops. Uh, mm -hmm. 5 hit, 3 avoid. Yeah, so he just gives everyone 10 hit and 6 avoid. And the enemy has like 40 ship stars, so negating that is really nice. Nice now. S Fear could take the kill, but I'm gonna do it with Duck. Do it with Duck. Duck moments. Get Duckin'. Kitozawa. I like how we look. Like we ran into like 3 people the other day that look away from the camera, and it's, uh, it's glorious. Um, am I good with Dewey getting short spear by that Falcon Knight? Yes, I am. Seven might only. Yeah, that's whatever. That's fine. We have we have plenty of units that are just not doing anything anyway. Um, I want to heal Titus. Heal. His hair on the helmet. Uh, isn't he just bald? I thought he was bald. Does he have a helmet? Hmm. We'll have to report more later. Let's shove the duck further into the desert. Just to give him a bit more exposure. And we can pay him an exposure, Lamau. Some of these are just gonna like javelin something, that's completely fine. Uh, run back a little bit. We can actually shoot Dewey just fine here. And heal Bosco. Whoop whoop. Can I speed that up? Yeah, my thieves are really like having trouble getting to the places where all the enemies are at. Uh, hopefully we don't face too many reinforcements. Uh, we should probably send this rogue drafe is to the bottom left. Where the purge is. That's what I was planning to do originally anyway. Let's more and get a perfect level up. You know, not impossible. He's already got a couple good level ups, but at this point he's obviously like way too underleveled. But yeah, here we go. Alexander probably cursed it. Yeah. There's arms underneath these. Oh you're right, they don't! I forgot about that part. You just use Helga then. Alright. So there's no reason to field Dreyfus. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Like people even told me last week, like, "Hey, you don't need thieves for the desert." And here I am, feeling thieves like a dumbass. I mean, there's probably still stealables because I think I checked for some stealables and they're still there. But I should, there was no reason to feel two. I should just done one. But this hit rate is off the charts because it's so bad. Wow, look at this sapphire lance. I love Pokemon sapphire lance. There are stealables, but I feel like I've already killed one because I'm uh, i not seeing any that have come in. I think there's an elixir somewhere. There's an earth seal and a druid. I'm definitely going to try and get that one. Come on. Yes, duck power. I love the funny earth seal. And I will get it. Maybe that's honestly enough justification to feel not a thief anyway. It's just the earth seal. Oh, this is cringe. I shouldn't have done hand axe if I was going to do this with Helga. Duck is more of a Pokemon Emerald guy. <laughs> kind of split the do for exploration versus battle, going three houses. Uh, always explore early on until like you hit like high, really high uh, professor rank, and then you can go battling. Sometimes, like when you get paralyzed, that's when you start battling. Sometimes, that's usually how it goes. Like exploring is just so overpowered because you, it, it scales, like it, it stacks. If you, if you know what I mean. Like if you professor rank. Uh, if you gain Professor rank, you gain more points to do more things later, so the sooner you do explorations, the better. Oh, goodbye, Marlon. I didn't realize you were going to die this turn, but here we are. What the heck? Look at all this blood. Oh, I don't feel so good. Marlon! Marlon! No, this can't be. 
Marlon! Aw, oh, heck, brother. Am I gonna die? I'm not ready to. Brother, I'm gonna go hide. Tend to these wounds. I'll find you later, don't worry. Another brother. Make me another brother. Oh, right, there's a sleep staff here. I have a restore staff, but it might not be on Vernon. Damn, not a great turn for store. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, we can probably hit that guy this turn. If we get an enemy out of the way. Uh, oh, well, we can reach with Helga. Blood, that's a food. And for Marlon. Oh, that was a good heal turn for Dewey. Okay, so we can probably get them with either moving away these enemies or we can hand back the stork. But the most reliable option is probably Helga. You d yeah, you actually do have a restore. That's nice. Uh, there's a bow guy here. If we get rid of him, it really doesn't matter. We don't need to like bow to this guy. Helga's okay with being here, right? It's not great for her. Maybe stork is better. Uh, I don't want to be near this warrior, so I guess Helga kills this one. Not great at that. She can just kill a bow guy, worst case scenario. I would like to heal Helga as well. Because if I had to rely on a double 60 or like a 71, I guess it's fine. 71. Kill here. Helga. Oh, Helga can't kill the Shaman. You know, it has to be Helga doing this part, which is bad. So I guess Helga's gonna have to go here. She'll take... 6 from the Steel Sword. 16 from the Shaman. And then this guy... Sword Reaver... It's 27... 11. I think she's fine after a heal. I'll heal and uh, have her kill the priest, hopefully. I think she doubles that guy, right? I think I checked that. I was probably gonna do this either way. The 48 HP is pretty. She's pretty bulky. I like that. Bulky Helga. Only Titus was here, am I right? Yeah, she can kill this guy. We'll do that. Get this guy out of here. Don't sleep, my Figalis. Spin through this. If you don't reset, I mean, I was suiciding Marlon because of support slots, but generally I reset for deaths. Just not this one. <laughs> Perch. All right, we've perched the perch. Oh, she found a perch. That's right. So we don't need to send Dreyfus here anymore, for sure. Uh, now we got to make sure we kill the bow guy. Probably should do these kind of moves first. Which is better than any feeding? Awakening or three houses? Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. So depends on who's asking, really. Um, personally, if I had to choose between those two, I think I would enjoy awakening a bit more. Uh, but neither of them are like anywhere near my favorite. We can make this guy use the steel bow on Figalis, I suppose. Or we can let, make sure we counter if we use the Hand Axe. The reason I kind of want to use the Iron Axe is because if this guy gets to attack um, my Wyvern girl, it's going to be worse. We could use the Sister's Love here. This guy has three move though. No, he has a lot of move actually here. No, never mind. He doesn't have that much move. Warriors usually have two move in the desert, but I feel like this guy is a little bit more. I feel like it's been made a bit more merciful. I'm going to Iron Axe, and he can use the Steel Ball on my Figatus if he wants to been defeated, but I can't fall here. I mean, I expect the Marlin to not die there. It would have been pretty traumatic if he could die. Yay! Pure water? Uh, was that droppable? Let me check for some sleetables here. Sort of rare, nothing here, nothing here. Droppables, cool, but where are the sleetables at? There's another funny earth seal. Another one. Oh, that's the sniper. That's, that's gonna be not that hard. Droppable Kaya. I already have one of those. I don't forgot. Who did I put my first Kaya on? Was it on Larissa? It was on a unit I liked, but I don't remember which. Maybe Stork? Uh, either way. Looks like there's no Steedables in this area of the map, so there's no point in selling Dreyfus here. I guess I'll just go on up. Go through here. I wish that we got like full move through the desert with our thieves. I think I feel like I deserve that, personally. Non-biased here. I look like Shuri's gonna move like no squares to take this uh, this L here. Play Fate so normally thought it was too easy. I would try Awakening Heart then, see if you can handle that. I, I don't think you can change Awakening Heart difficulty when you're playing through, right? But Awakening Normal is like really easy, like probably about as easy as Fate's easy. Um, I need someone like okay res. Duck actually has surprisingly good res from what I can see, so I guess I'll barrier him. Have him go in. Or like Bosco, maybe. 
because Bosco actually has like these desert movements, and he has weapon triangle for these uh, these cringers. Like, I, it's possible I hit this, sure, but is it likely? Not really. What if we move Bosco a little bit further in? Can he want to kill this guy? Because this is kind of weak right there, Javelin. Four more mites, even seven more mites. Yeah, you can kill with seven more mites. So what we can do is Sidus, shove Bosco, Dewey, bury your Bosco. I mean, the lunatic difficulty, from what I've seen, like most people hate it, but people who've played it a little bit more say it's like actually okay, not great, but okay. But Awakening's mechanics, core mechanics is not great for strategic. Like it's just a, it's just a, like I don't want to say it's a dating sim because that's like a cliche, but it's just not that great for strategic gameplay. It's just, it's just a fun pair up simulator. And that emphasis on fun, like it is fun, but the random nature of the pair up system and like the broken nature of it is just like it's kind of a game to go burn. It's not a game you really want to like think through a whole lot. I said, Wind Sword is easy to get with anyone. The Heretic Spear is pretty easy to get. I need S Sphere. Well, first of all, I just need S Sphere to get some kills, honestly. That girl needs some kills. Let's go in here. Uh, Streak can get the thing from. There's like a thing over here that Streak can get. I have a lot of mod units, and most of them are over here. Not need to do a whole lot to be done with, with these units. I'll go through the middle with Osain, I guess. No, I want to keep Osain with Bosco, actually. Cringe. Well, I guess we're just going to stay here. Cover this fort. I don't think there's any reinforcements coming from these, but there you go. Mm. Right, this is the problem with Helga here. But we're good. Which prefer a new game right now or Echo Style Remake? Honestly, I'll take anything. I'll take anything. I just want a new Fire Emblem game. Three Hopes was not that good in hindsight. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed Three Hopes, but making content about this game is that game is like. <laughs> It took me so long just to get a 10 minute video on it out. Um, I don't know. I'd be excited about either personally. I mean, if it's like the leak game that was like so fake, then I'd rather have my remake, right? Uh, Shinobi, I just play. I just play hard mode if I were you, unless you're like really looking for a challenge. But uh, Lunatic Blind is just not fun. Like if it's your first playthrough, Lunatic is just not fun. Yeah, it's, it's a spin-off. Obviously, it doesn't count as a mainline game or whatever, but it's the only thing we've gotten since Three Houses, so, you know. Yeah, this ROM hack is, uh, complete, is complete, Canal Grande. It is absolutely 100% done. Ah, oh, yeah, I thought you might don't do that, but there's only one superior warrior here. Kitozavaz. Are these all just called Kitozavaz? Is that just their name tag? Yay, Sarka Healing. Good thing I did that, you know? Oh yeah, they're all called Kitozawas. Uh, I feel like, you know, a wyvern is not the right person to handle these two enemies, so I'm gonna have her do something else. I like our two warriors here. It's like a reference to the to the other guys from the thingies. Okay, so you don't double. You have charm here. So I'm wondering if this is safe. I don't think it is, because we need to like do so, damage, so much damage to this guy. 28, so do we do 20 with Helga? No way, right? There's no way we do 20. We actually do do 20. So if we hit both, we win. But we have to hit this uh, Sister's Hope. Uh, I kind of want to go from here. Uh, is it the same hit rate no matter what? It is, right? I think so. Yeah, because they have the A support and they're like... It's both Charm and the A support is within three tiles. Let's try this. If it hits, we can go for it. Okay, that works too. That works too. Here you go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna have Stork handle this part. Uh, Iron Sword. <laughs> Did you do the Slock Sword? What the hell, you double with that? This is br oh, it's plus five speed. That's right. It's like a it's in the same weapon, right? I'll get rid of this guy with the Slock Sword. Why not? Slock Sword. Goodbye. <laughs> Reference purpose should appear in OP Green Sage Lunar XP. Oh, I would hope not. Uh, I need a heal on Helga and on you. So I guess Helga's just like kind of chill and use a an X Fulnery kind of combo here. You can't get very far, but this is just because Helga's in the way. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. And chill next to Figalus.
probably arrange the other shaman, but that's fine. Go here. Chill out. Yeah, this is all good. And then Fernon can heal Figalus. Yeah, Robin is very, very busted. But honestly, if, if you're playing Awakening, I would recommend picking like a maximum of like four or five combat units and have them do like most of the work. Because using more is a bit painful. <laughs> it's like you're always going to feel like someone is useless. Uh, let's visit here. Ex Colonel Kiso Kitosawa was exiled for his crimes. He used to be an important soldier and advisor to the Queen. He was out on a mission when his homeless was destroyed. His wife, she perished. I feel bad for him, truly. But he's become cold and callous, yearning only for revenge. I fear what he may do to this town and others. Please, take this and keep Mahala safe. Earth Seal. Oh, this is the Gyna requirements? Okay, alright. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay, Bosco is buried. I don't want to kill this uh, person. What the hell, Darkstone? 1-3, okay, that's... I don't want to be arranged that. No, thank you. Uh, I do want to arrange that Shaman. Maybe this warrior, but I don't think I can get that far. Alright, stay out of range of the funny uh, druid guy, I guess. Let's uh, bait a shaman. These guys can't get very far. Oh, there we go. There's the heretic spear. Great. This is anti mages, I think. Light magic use. Okay, whatever. I don't need that right now. There's like one monk left. So he's not a threat. What do you have for skills, monk? Breath of life. Oh, damn. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Sniper with certain blow. Fiery blood, all good, all good, all good. This music is like very RPG y. Is it from something? It reminds me of like playing Marduk. It's like Marduk exploration music. And like, I know I reference Marduk a lot because it's like the only proper RPG I've played ever. So it's like Final Fantasy VII. Right, let's go here to support a little bit. I definitely want Helga to come up here to uh, carry Esphere there. I want to feed Esphere more kills, but she's like very cringe right now at combat. Um, go here. Uh, Dreyfus is coming for... Oh, he needs a secret shop as well. Like, I need to keep in mind where my member card is. Um, whatever, let's go up here for now. Yeah, these mounting units are just not doing much this chapter, really. I'll just keep on vibing over here. It's like Duck is gonna move like one tile turn. It's not gonna get him anywhere. So yeah, for the monthly units are done. <laughs> You're done. You're basic. Goodbye. Custom music? Wait. I thought it only had references. Phew. Wow. I mean just pair people you wanna pair. I should continue to use Dreyfus because it'll make me smile. Unfortunately, I really like S Sphere. And unfortunately, this game is limited deployment slots and limited XP, so you might have to turn that smile into a frown at some point. But so far, I've deployed Dreyfus on every map, so hey, there you go. Alright, Stork's accuracy is not that good with the hand axe, but he's fine. Okay, we're fighting guys on forests, which are like everywhere, so I don't blame him. Nice dodge. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's fine, we can wrap that guy up on player phase. Helga is gonna transfer army. Oh, what the hell. Alright, I'll fight some Pegasus Knights. Why not? What you got? Ruby Sword, Sapphire Lance, Steel Sword. So that's, uh. We could do the Bosco special. 22, 23, 22. He takes those hits fine. Without dying. Do we take the warrior on as well, or are we just going to be that brave? He can't even reach that, so I guess the answer to that is no. In fact, we can't even reach the bottom Pegasus Knight with Bosco. It's going to have to be up there. Out of range of the Druids, out of range of the Myrmidon. Alright, Bosco, you're up. Go here. Iron Lance is fine for now, and then this one. I wonder if Osain can take a hit from the warrior just fine, and then... Uh, this is not great though. I don't want to be ranged the pegs. I guess we can kill this guy for fun. We really want to fight that Pegasus. I guess we'll just let the Pegasus that come to us. But I want to support Bosco. Troublesome. I don't have to kill that bandit though. Okay, the warrior has 34 attack, which will leave her low. <laughs> so yeah, just support Bosco for now. It's fine. Sphere. 
Shelf, I guess. Oh, let's see his animations. I don't think we've seen him yet. We're on, okay. Let's see his animations. <laughs> That's very yellow. Dreyfus is a free to use mug. That's funny. Uh, boss might start moving? Yeah, probably, but we can always like get in there with like a flyer. It's not the biggest deals. Like, I can't rush very well because my units don't have a lot of movements, and the ones that do are very fragile, so yeah, it's good to keep in mind for sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this whole steel thing before it uh, expires. In fact, I might just rescue Esphere now. Or Dreyfus. Let's do Dreyfus. Come here, Dreyfus. And it will drop him on the tree, steal his thing, and we should be good. You don't have a full inventory, right? Yeah, you don't. Okay, good. Because Esphere does, probably. Um, can you be in range of the Pegasus Knight? Oh, you can be. That's really nice, actually. And this is all not desert terrain, so... Moon Clipper. Steel Sword. I think it's time to use an Iron Sword here. All Gucci. Uh, Sri actually is a decent horse here that might work in the desert. Probably not. Alright, that's what we wanted anyway. I forgot it was there, but you know what? That works. Wind Sword is nice to have. Keep units close together, maybe. Probably, but... I mean, there's no point in moving him like all the way through the desert. I'll just move him back a little bit, I guess. Damn, we're losing. I still have one trick up my sleeve. My ace in the hole. These dashes won't know what hit them. When I try out my special move, it will consume much of my energy. So first, let's see if they can handle these reinforcements. Rise, Pegasi! Well, yeah, I saw those, my friend. The OG Nick Sprite. The Nick T Sprite. I remember Nick T. I think he made submissions for Marky Joe's uh, Rage Fests. Bop, do you double these guys, Bosco? There's no way, right? You're not. Oh, he does double. Nice. There's the maps overall. Depends. There's some I kind of like. They don't have a great reputation. It's. I think it's okay to have a map where the mages excel. I just don't think we should have more maps where flyers are that good. <laughs> I suppose. And like for most people, they're just like tedious to play, right? I think that's like a thing against them. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with these the slow way, I'm afraid, because like, what am I supposed to do about this? Um, we can bait away the bottom sniper. This won't bait anything else I really care about. Boss hasn't moved yet. Maybe the sniper will move automatically. That's fine with me too. I'm just gonna move him here. Come on, let's go. And we get the rapier as well. I forgot I was here, but here we go. It's not even uh, personal. Uh, I'm gonna shove him so we can maybe get there. We should probably shop at some point. Uh, I don't want to get turned to stone by this guy. Because that's gonna make me like crit bait. So I should probably get a, bit, a little bit closer so we can drop in and get out of range with uh, Helga. So like here is probably fine. Let me see if I got all the items. Rapier, member card, heretic spear, wind sword. Uh, just a light rune left. Which is uh, where all the Pegasi are. Uh, which is not where she is, fortunately. Um, this turn, it looks like it's actually safe to take out this Brigands. Oh, it already was. The problem was not supporting Bosco. Well then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start Duck's journey across the desert. He'll be fine. He's gonna be on guard duty for a second. A worm is lair. I think it's just really hard to make a good desert map. I'm trying to think of like ones that I like, not ones I'm like, okay with. Most of them are just kind of like okay at best. Let me go through it from the start, right? So, fe ones are okay because there's a road through the desert. So basically, the reason it's okay is because there's not it's not all desert. <laughs> I guess that's an okay idea to like have a beaten path for the player to walk over. And if you want to deviate, you kind of get punched by the terrain. That's okay. FE2 has horrible desert maps. Only one uh, has two, like Grease Citadel and uh, Desert Fort. FE3 is the same. FE3 is like challenging, at least. FE3 Book 2. Ooh, 15 crit? Crit bonus? Gaming? 
Um, I see four has a horrible pair of desert maps. Don't like those. I see five has no desert maps, which makes it the best game in the series. That's like the the sand map, like chapter two X. That one is the worst. Um, FE6 is desert map. I like it personally, but from new player, I don't like it. FE7 is okay, I guess, because it doesn't force you to touch all the way through it. It seems even Mahala's finest cannot break their ranks. No matter, I will have to show them my true power. Chiasa, I am doing this for you, so that you may one day live in a perfect world. And now then, to the sky above, I ask for this one wish. The bloodthirsty demons who dare set foot upon my homeland. The unsalvageable dastards who wreak havoc at every turn. And those who get in the way of my vision for a perfect world. Oh no, is the lab promise? Allow me to vanquish these invaders. I will destroy them all. Oh, hello. Um, what? Now then, let's finish this. To accomplish my goals, to follow my path. Chiasa, forgive my f your father, but this must be done. Maybe someday you'll understand what I had to do, and why I cannot rest until your mother is avenged. Dude, just let me show if my units are gonna survive. That's it. No more hesitation. This is it. My moment. I will slaughter you all like the treasonous pigs you are. You will feel the pain my wife felt by your hands. Come, face me. With this blade, I will shape the future. May the path of a better world be paved with your corpses. Prepare to die. Well, oh, now he's behind me. He's right behind me, isn't he? Uh, yeah, that's uh, troublesome. He's like a Lance Reaver and a Killing Edge, what the heck? And he moves, of course. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, we actually like two at Kyo him here. And I have to die at Thunder, so... You could just die. I guess the problem is we just end the map, right? We wouldn't get any of the goodies. If I let him live, he's just gonna roast me. Like, is he, does he just kill me? He doesn't upright kill me here. Does he kill Dewey? He probably does. How much speed do you have? 13. Yeah, we're dead. Duck's moment is here. Well, if he had a sword, it would be, but... Uh, I wouldn't really call this Duck's moment. He does surprisingly well, actually. He kills. It's hard to kill if you know what you're doing. The issues is he's doing it. Yeah. Be greedy. I will be greedy. I'll also make a turn wheel. I'm gonna like surround him, I think. For a turn, like just do like this. And uh, I guess we have to like do a rescue drop or something. I have to rescue drop Titus closer. Because he can't pivot, right? He doesn't have that. He has shove. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this teleport. It's okay, because he doesn't, like, do anything right away, but it's still, like, annoying. Um, so here... Rescue... I think it's okay if she takes a hit at range. Oh, this, this is the wrong move. Hold up. Um, stay here. Might be. Uh, take... Uh, use the Arc Wind, I guess. Iron Lance. Drop. I'm probably gonna, like, Merc Duck, but he'll just have to knock at crit, I guess. Okay, we're gonna drop our thief now. Hopefully they'll survive this whole onslaught of Pegasus Knights. We can like bait away the druid into attacking someone else, maybe. Probably not. But they might not like getting countered, so this is like a distraction. And I want to steal this uh, this red gem really badly. So let's do some more baiting over here. Beef closer. I think it's gonna have to be like move up and then shove. Oh, this, I guess this is fine ish. Yeah, it's gonna have to be like this, I think, and then we'll just shove next turn, I guess. We'll see. Let's get some stuff. I think there's killer bows here. Killer bow. Give me two of those. Two killer bows. Couple hand axes. Nice new short spear. Yeah, no one spoiled this funny thing. That's right, Chad has been very good today about not spoiling anything. I guess we can go to the vendor as well in case it ends this turn. I need some more thunders, that's for sure. One, two, and three. Uh, I did not know that Me that Storch can use the like Shamshir and stuff. That's good to know, thanks. I think I'm low on men's. 
I'm gonna save the rest for a secret shop, I think. Alright, and here... I guess just kill the sniper and, like, deal with the rest. Don't be enraged the other sniper, I guess. Alright, Stork, just kill this guy. Goodbye. Iron Sword. <laughs> 20 XP is good. Uh, I guess we're not supporting Bosco anyway, so let's just kill this Brigand for XP. Oh my god. Oh my god, I missed! I missed with the character with like 5 skill. Yeah, he just shows up and nobody's there, that'd be great too. Alright, let's see what he does. Okay, I guess, I guess first we're gonna have to go through this enemy phase, so let's see if we die here. Because he has like a pretty good chance of like just critting titers or something. Kills... Kill... Oh, I didn't kill, that's fine. Alright, Dreyfus, it's time to dodge a little bit. I'm speeding this up because I just need to know if the boss like murders me or not. Goodbye... Whoop! Okay, we're just gonna get stoned now. Okay, we're not gonna get stoned. We're just gonna dodge. Wow! Well. Wow! Well. Alright, here goes. So, you're the wonder after. All this trouble just for one man. Day? Tell me, who is this day that you refer to? I must know. There's too much writing on this. Don't take it personally. I'm doing this for me. Whatever happens to you isn't my concern. Who is paying you? I will double, nay triple that amount. This does not need to lead to bloodshed. You are being extorted. Extorted, I say. <sighs> Spare your breath. I will pursue you until I get what I want. I have no problem slaying nobles to achieve my goals. Prepare to die, Lord Titus. Madness! I will get an answer out of you. You won't, Lord Titus. Stop talking. Now. And uh, this is the character I put my uh, my light rune on, so uh, or my iron rune, so... Kitosawa made a mistake. A miscalculation, you might say. Now we're safe. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> good story, Mark. Easy use of the good old iron rune. It's like the guy that... It's like when in a movie someone reveals that they got shot, they got shot and they reveal their bulletproof vest. Now, is that tactics or what? Okay, steel, your earth seal. Yeah, he really just said nothing personnel. I feel like Ponon took it a little bit less seriously here. Just a little bit less. Uh, I guess we can get the XP off this guy. If we don't miss. Anything else we need to do here? We need to steal from this sniper. I don't think we're gonna make it though. I think we're too far away. We'd have to... Shove twice. And only... Hmm... I think only Osain can shove. This is all desert tiles. Hmm... Maybe if Helga kills something here, Bosco can shove the sniper down. And then we can make it, I think. Let me see. Um, it'd be... I got like hand axes this guy, right? That's an awful hit rates. If you Titus, you can stop for one more turn. Yeah, true. It's possible, but I might as well end it, right? Oh, I need the secret shop still. Hold up. Yeah, I need the secret shop. Um, do you survive the flame sword at range? Probably not, right? I could shove her away though. Okay, we know he likes to target Titus now, so let's just do this. Just do it. Little arrow is the secret shop, which is where we need to send Dreyfus or someone else holding the memory card. Uh, let's keep the arc wind equipped then and shove away. Okay, in that case, we need to like clear this a little bit, but that's doable. Let's kill here. Ethan Killer XP? Yeah, I think Dewey's about to hit level 20 anyway, though, but I think we have an Earth Seal somewhere that we can use on her if we really need to. And we have a Valkyrie. Nice, nice. That's a dark stone gone. Okay, so we don't need to kill the sniper this time. We need to move closer. In that case, I don't want to leave her in range of this guy. Uh, what can you even kill then? Uh, we can get Dreyfus off the thing actually. Or we can get the member card, I suppose. Do you double here? Do double. Okay, we can take a shot at that, I guess. Might as well. 
Let's get the river card off of him. Sure, and then hand axe. Try to kill this Pegasus Knight. We have two shots at it. One. Yeah. I mean, Alexander, my point is more that I might not... Um... Actually, these leaves are like right in range to the sniper, right? Yeah, a little bit. Bosco, bail me out. No. Did you get crit plus 15? Like, really? Did. Nice. I'm gonna heal. I might just kill a Pegasus Knight. I wanna just do it. Yeah, those Pegasus seem really annoying. They have like better all around stats than usual. I'm gonna kill here. Sniper will probably reach now. But I think he doesn't want, want to kill Helga. I like how this guy is weak and he's just sitting there and doing nothing. Move a little bit closer. Maybe the sniper will go for uh, S Sphere. Uh, so we know he likes doing this. I don't know why he would go for this guy with his 2417. With Sarka right here. But Sarka's on a fort, I guess, with chivalry. So maybe that's why. Also, if we ever hit him, he's he's gonna she's gonna lose chivalry. So we better not hit him, Titus. Okay, that's all good. All well and good. Uh, this guy's gotta go. Um, you can kill with Vernon, or you can move Vernon forward to kill Storch. I'm gonna pull this warrior with Stork, I think. Go to fort, get this kill. Get the Galus closer. Let's do this with the hand axe, and if he misses, it's fine. We can use Vernon instead. A secret shop is a horrible idea. Although, I think a while back, I don't know if it's still relevant, but you had this trend of, um, like, uh, sneakers shops having, like, drop dates for when they were going to, um, you know, sell the new sneakers. But they'd be, like, those would be, like, limited supply, so you'd have to be fast to get them. Which was a pretty cringe concept, but it worked because people were like going crazy for him. Oh, we need to get the Kaya as well, that's very important. I think I can do that next turn though. 18, I think this is fine. We'll be down to like 11. These guys are not going to do 11 to Storch. If he hits us twice. He did a black market, basically, <laughs> you're right. The arrow in the shop's wizard, he escaped, pointed to the thief with the seal. Oh, interesting, but I'm assuming the fact that it like shows the shop is also deliberate. Like, I'm just assuming it's a secret shop. Well, no, it's, I also know because of the map. <laughs> the desert map also shows it. Uh, okay, so just these two left. Hopefully, he doesn't just change his mind about who to target now. Oh, you're going for Figalis? Work for me. Goodbye. Real life Master Seals? Wait, what is a real life Master Seal even supposed to be? What is this analogy? I have lost it. Crit on Bosco is like pretty funny. Figalis is a very good name, yes. He's uh, one of the better characters. Boom. Free XP from an uh, archer. But now he's on a fort, that's annoying. Oh, Dreyfus, don't die here. Thank you. Thank you for not dying. Also, this thief ran away from my thief. That's the sniper. It's like, uh, cringe. Alright, this is good. No, that's not good. <laughs> Secret restaurants. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Banana. Hmm, so you've made it this far. No matter, for I've spent many years studying the blade, and I've bested foes of greater caliber than you. Come! My guy, we just talked. We just discussed this. Okay, good job missing Titus. Good job. I, I do enjoy that sick hand axe accuracy. I mean, I keep hitting people on force and like force with it, so that's why this is happening. Oh, he's coded to attack Titus. Actually? Oh, wow. He waste arc when uses. Is it precious? I'm just like, this is just, I mean, it's either this or like use the bolting, I guess. Bolting is probably a better idea, actually. Because he's getting doubled anyway. Alright, so let's see if we can actually reach this turn. So Helga can reach the secret shop if we just get the murmur out of the way. Uh, S Sphere needs to reach this guy. So we need to like get this guy out of the way with Bosco or Osain. Probably gonna heal with Osain, so let's use Bosco to get the kill here. Boom. The only thing is, if I do this, I have to kill the sniper this turn. I was gonna say end the map this turn, but it doesn't seem to be necessary. Um, steel, of course. Get 
the red gem. And light rune apparently is also here. That's good. Uh, we kill. Or surround and like not kill. That's fine too. Titus. That's cool, dude. <laughs> he just gives him the thumbs up. He's like, that's cool, dude. I'm so happy for you. I didn't read all that. I ain't reading all that. But I'm happy for you. Or sorry that happened. Whatever apply applies here. Okay, so now it's secret shop time. I don't have a silver card, right? So this is it. Alright, time to close my curtains. Be right back. Are you serious? You know what the best part is? I sold one of these to make money. It's <laughs> like get money for the secret shop. I sold a steel blade to get to the secret shop. <laughs> so I studied the blade. He sure did. He sure did. I mean, it's pretty strong. All right, we gotta buy one now. We have to buy one now. Yes, send it to storage so I can never see it again. I studied the steel blade. Yo, fuck this noise. That's so mean. Andon, how could you do this to me? Alright, let's see if we can get the warrior kill. Um, possibly, I guess. I need to get this one. I need to get this one. We can hold off on here for one more turn. Um, let's get the warrior first. And maybe the, the archer will get off the thing. Probably won't. Uh, we can slug guard him. I don't think I need to, but I'm gonna just because I'm angry about the secret shop. <laughs> like a second secret shop? I don't know. Archer can target a wyvern? Uh, yeah, but he has a longbow. It's not a big deal. Like, oh no, six might. What am I gonna do? Not my, not my full health wyvern, no. Let's go up here, use the Iron Axe. Uh, do we get out of the desert? Or Sri, I guess. Uh, equip Bolting. Before I forget. Uh, heal to max. The Flyer Weakness Pitfall. Well, the actual weakness would be thinking that Flyers can never be range of archers. And in fact, they often can. There's a second chicken shop, we should have the silver blade. You know, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Well, Dreyfus, at least you got the real treasure here. Okay, we can like route this map now, basically. I just need to get the Kaya from the longbow archer. Get out of here. Watch the boss like retreat. I love that it just gave the like, iron rune to Titus and it worked out so well. The second secret shop is stupidly hard to find, but there actually is one. Get out of here. There's no way. You're trolling me. Don't troll me. Don't be like this. Not like this. Let me check the map to make sure I got every treasure. Okay, yeah, there is a secret shop, and that's it. Oh, you mean the, the secret shop on a later map? The secret shop, the damn. It's on this map. Okay, good, 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 good. That's, that's okay. You can say that. Uh, Alright, so... XP for Helga, I guess. God knows she needs it. Uh, heal with Osain. Okay, now I need to see how I get rid of... Uh, XP for Esri. Oh, it could have been, yeah. I think Esri didn't get a single kill this chapter. She's got like 10 XP for stealing, that's it. Here you go. You got you, you discovered it through a misclick. Yo, power power move right there. All right. Um, so he's coded to attack Titus, huh? That seems like uh, like a mistake on his part. Uh, the thing is, if I attack him with Duck, then I face credit. But he's still like hard coded to attack Titus, right? But I have to use her first because she uh, needs chivalry to be good here. You're not gonna hit me twice, or crit me, or anything like that. You started the blade, not strategy manuals, give them a break. 
The Mao. Alright, let's go duck. The duck will live. The duck is invincible. I am invincible. It's Gen 3 feet best location, damn. Kill? Why not, right? Why not, right? I didn't plan this, but it worked out. Big duck, big three. Don't die. Thank you. I'll just have to kill you bastards from the grave. I love how they put it the last promise character in this game. That's my favorite part. Duck next round. Duck in next smash. Wait, that's the same thing. Lamao. All right. Please give me some food. Earth seal. Jeez, that guy was tough. Guys are food. He sure looked like he had some kind of fundata. You got misinfo. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, that is just good. Just because you wield a sword, don't mean your attitude got to match the edge of your blade. Oh no. Yes, it appears that he takes issue with the throne. There are nefarious forces at work. I suspect he was an agent for those forces. For them, those forces. I hate those forces. Sorry, I'm adjusting my mic. Now I'm done. What do you mean? He was a former colonel in Maha's army, exiled for his war crimes. He holds strong political opinions and loathes the queen. Sounds like a drag to be around. Yeah, I agree, uh, Blind Coco. I'm not sure, like, because the hack is intended to be mostly serious with some food sprinkled in. So this guy is, like, way over the top, but it's clearly intentional, so. Hmm. Perhaps we should discuss this another time. I suggest we take refuge for the evening. I do need rest after fighting this heat. Nefarious forces. Sounds cryptic, but I won't object to a nice bat and an ill. Because we gotta have ill. I'm telling you, the ill counter needs to be separate from the food counter at this point. Loafs? That's food. <laughs> what a place. No wonder Oasis has multiple meanings. The ill here is great. I'm not gonna count ill again. It is a 6 out of 10 at best. You're deft, cousin. This may be the best ill on the continent. You won't be saying that in the morning. I don't really care for the flavor. It's different from what I'm used to. Arkady, you can take the rest of mine. Who am I to reject an ill from a friend? Thanks, pal. Well, Storch, I at least give you credit for trying. It's nice to take a reprieve like this. Reminds me of the old days when you were tending bar, Esphere. Those were simpler times, weren't they? Yeah. We should get some rest soon. I'm going to get ready for bed. Let me chug this and I'll be off soon too. Look, look. Look, look, look. Let me voice act that. Mm. Mm. I'm quite impressed with this display. Ugh. Not as good as when you drink it that fast. Alright, good night all. Storch, are you coming too? Nah, I'm gonna stay up a while longer. Feeling restless. Storch, yeah? Never mind. Rest well. Night. Looks like Gortitis is still awake too. I'll go see what he's up to. Hello, World Prince. So, wait, just hang on one sec. I can't believe it. You've never eaten Stingray with the hot sambal sauce? Apparently both of these are food. Did not know that. They're, I have a feeling they're gonna discuss more food too, like right about now. He's gonna be like, yeah, I've eaten shark and starfish and octopus, but I've never eaten Stingray. My man, you haven't lived. I detest spicy things. What, my man, you're killing me. Stingray is a cultural cornerstone. In the Hala, it's almost as big of a deal as the Vision Quest. <laughs> hey, roll the titles! Title credits! <laughs> I love Vision Quest. It's my favorite quest. You set the thing. The title drop. <laughs> I feel like this is usable as a meme somewhere. I'm gonna save it. Uh, title drop. We need this later, probably. Uh, can we get this nice place over here in the corner, maybe? Below the food counter. I feel like I need a place for this on my overlay, but it's not a very flexible overlay, unfortunately. Can we just, like, put it behind chat, maybe? Let me do something dumb with it. Hold up. This is gonna look very ugly. I'm gonna remove it, but... 
I just want to do dumb things with this for a second. Hold up. Uh, no, not this. Where's that again? Was it? Oh yeah, it is here. Hold up. Uh, okay, perfect. Okay, let's see how this looks for a while. I'll remove it if it like apparently is ugly. Yeah, put the memes on us, exactly. Looks good, doesn't it? You need fishing quest all over them? Fishing quest? Oh, damn. They just keep on supplying these screenshots to us. They don't know what to do about it. I mean, there's plenty of chat room for this. Fishing quest? You're being memed, no, you're being memed under, actually. Okay, I'm sure you guys can't possibly need three vision quest memes on your background. This is going to become some modern artwork. Hold up, I think we're onto something here. How much transparency does this have? Uh, 32%, okay. Gotta make sure they're roughly equal. There you go. Yes, the real fishing quest was the food we've made along the way. Sounds intriguing. Pray tell, my good man. You've never heard? Oh man, it's like a big deal here. Guess it's just a Mahalan way to do things a bit differently. What's this about? Ah, Storch. Impeccable timing. We are getting an education in Mahalic culture from the innkeeper. Shouldn't we get to bed soon? I want to hear this first. Pull up a chair, friend. Alright, so... In Mahala, when children become of age... They eat the flesh of a cactus and head out to the desert. I mean, I guess that's food. I guess the flesh of a cactus is food. Flesh is, feet, is like cannibal food. Head out to the desert by themselves for night, wandering alone. While they're out here, they start seeing things. Like what? A bunch of sand? No, my man. Visions. Some say they can even see into the future. The future? Yes. The future <laughs> reminded the South Park episode where they tried to stop the future from happening by having a big pile of gay men. Yes, normally they see visions of their life. It's a ceremonial thing that many believe helps set them on the right path in life. Either scare them into doing the right thing, or reconfirm they're on a good path. Some say it becomes their life's mission to realize this vision, hence the name. Although the ceremony itself is called Aikau, pronounced Ikeao. I like how he says how he pronounced it, which translates roughly to future sight in the modern language we all use today. But anyway, the pursuit of, the, of all this ends up being called Vision Quest. But anyway, this whole ancient practice is why you get so many stern men around these parts. They're disciplined and focused towards achieving their goal or preventing a bad fate. Do you guys have anything similar where you're from? Laura, was it? Some state in Nirvan? No, I'm afraid. We get our friends together for cake on birthdays, but nothing special like that. <laughs> Can't wait to go to the desert alone and high and seeing spoilers for my own life. I know, right? Well, after hearing about your exploits today, I can't think of a better way to welcome you to Mahala and to partake. After this ceremony, you'll both be honorary Mahalans. I happen to cultivate these and sell them to the undersigned fa families. Ah, you sell them. I'll be right back. <laughs> you can't be serious about this, Lord Titus. Vision quest? Sounds like a... <laughs> a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, Stork uh, did the dare program. <laughs> Title drop three. I don't think there's room for more, but I think we can delete the second one. I think this one is better than the second one. We gotta have this. This is all very important, as you can tell. Thing. Capacity. At least when the stream starts, you'll be able to like see this like this. Like, uh, where is it? It's above the chat right now. Maybe it should be below the chat. Let me see if that looks better actually. There 
go. I think that's might be a bit better, perhaps. So now if the chat is not here, you can see this. <laughs> there you go. Okay. What happens if you tell someone about your visit quest? You die. Yeah, it's like Vala. It is important to understand the cultural traditions of your ally, Storch. Might I add, I am curious to see what the future holds for me. Most curious indeed. Me too, but this feels like cheating. Who knows how you'll change when you see the future. Storch, do you realize how powerful this is? To see the future? To preempt your enemy's moves? To know the exact steps to take to achieve your goals? You could be infallible, unstoppable. You know me, Lord Titus, to heck with all that. I'm only here because I support you and you helped me out when we needed it. Getting anything more than what I have is not my agenda. Don't need to know more than I know, otherwise I'd know it. Anyway, I'm on my way to bed. You should get some rest too. Good night, Lord Titus. Good night, Storch. Here we are, just carved off a few slices out back. So you just eat it like this, no dipping sauce? Yeah, just like anything else. This flavor is interesting. My tongue feels numb. That'll subside in a bit. You should head north. It's quiet up there this time of night. Just remember, whatever you see out there, keep it to yourself. The sanctity of the ceremony is preserved by how personal it is to the individual. No one around here is going to tell you what they see, but they sure as heck have it on their mind. Hmm, I'll remember that. Thank you for your kindness. I must be off now. Don't stay out too long now and be safe. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for a paranoid guy to do this, but you know. It's, he's also like risking the entire mission by going out alone. Like a cringe lord. It's awfully quiet. I cannot remember the last time I was out in the opening like this. Was I ever even this far from civilization growing up? Can't see much besides the light of the stars reflecting against the sand, the trill breeze. No wonder so many poets are hermits. They need to talk to themselves to stay sane, I'm sure of it. Titus. Hmm? What's there? Titus. I feel light, like I can't help but grin like a drunkard. Or a boy who just received his first kiss. My legs have this tingly sensation. <coughs> I'm allergic to cactus slush. <clears throat> I feel these. Is someone walking towards me? The sand is so wavy. My, this sensation. I. <laughs> <laughs> When you feel the breeze creep up your spine, when you savor the taste of cheese and red wine. Oh, is it is it gonna be a rhyming thing? That's plus two. Those are foods. As you turn to your lover and tell them it's fine, do you look forward or back? Do you yearn to know what lies ahead? Or do you long for the feeling of your childhood bed? Relive what you've lived or see what you haven't? Stick in your zone or delve into the unknown? There is no right, there is no wrong. You decide how these words are known. Breathe deep, relax, and soon you will be home. But try to remember that you can choose how you'll use your time. Unbridled ambition or lays and slouch. Each are opposite, yet the results are the same. I keep thinking it's about the rhyme, but then it doesn't. It's really throwing me off. Yeah, food poem. A lack of balance wreaks havoc on the brain. Open your mind, be open to change. Fixation is ruinous, as our vision quests. <laughs> Bro, this is like a fortune cookie, times a thousand. It appears that the bandits are threatening the Ozturk people down at the border. The Ozturk? You mean that cave folk? Some say they are savages, but there are some my people and they are and all the same. I'm assuming this is the division he has. Send a force out to deal with the bandits. My forefathers never paid much mind to them. And history books speak of their oppression. I will seek to end this through a display of good faith. The first of many. We will bridge the gap that divides the people and bring Nevanese of all stripes closer. <laughs> Moses are red, violets are blue. Rhyming is hard, rhyming is hard. Stripes closer, as one united empire. Yes, Emperor Titus, I will share the news with their envoy and prepare the troops to assist. Excellent, thank you. You have anything else to report? What of Storch? Yes, I received word about the whereabouts of Storch. Emperor Titus, he's... Gone. Emperor? Yes, so that is my fate. It is, yes, this is the way forward. 
This is the path I am destined to follow. But how? How do I ascend to such greatness? I suppose only time will tell. I should head back and never speak of what I saw. Only I can notice, and when the opportunity arises, I will know. A Storch. Why is he mentioned? And why did the guard's voice trail off just as he was about to relay crucial information? I suppose this isn't a perfect process. But this really was a vision quest. But on the morrow, I shall embark on my quest to become the greatest ruler Nirvana's ever seen. Not only for myself and my own ambitions, but to champion the people who inhabit my lands. My lands. <laughs> Royal Band. The Titus promotion item. Well, I'll be damned. Accept side quest? Hell yeah. It's time to side quest. The enemy is you. You stoned? Yeah, I didn't fight the enemy that stoned you. The enemy is you. Oh no. It's a desert. My lands. Truly, is this my destiny? Perhaps I am the rightful heir, as I was to Bolaro. Ah, fodder. Did I do well for myself? Yes, that is his 20. I suppose I haven't grieved for you very much as of yet. But fear not, fodder. Mecca's giving his best, fighting and finding loot. He thinks he plays Vision Quest, but all he get is food. <laughs> <laughs> For you are omnipresent in my heart and mind. Your counsel and wisdom coursing through the blood in my veins. I only hope that you're proud of me. Oh, bother. What am I saying? This is a bizarre experience, and here I am. Lord Titus of Bolaro, finest state in Nirvan. Squelching nonsense like the gibbons in the canopy above. <laughs> What a strange feeling this is. Do I even know what a gibbon is? I must have written about them somewhere. Or is it just a conjuration of my mind? The truth. It eludes me. Alas. Titus, my son. Father? It cannot be. Yet here you are, standing before me. Is this part of this grand vision? Is it my iron will and strong resolve? Tell me, father. Titus, I am as real to you as you choose to believe. Whether it be flesh and bone or the stuff of dreams, what is real is what you choose to believe. That's not how it works. Father, I am truly sorry for what became of you. Yes, it's the cheese and wine guy. But Lord Gradden, he's dead now. By my hand, peace is restored. Yes, I have seen this, my dear Titus, and I will let you decide if I am proud or not. Regardless of my feelings, only you hold the key. Only you know the answer. But I can never truly know these things, Father. Not unless I am told them. Ah, what am I doing? Have I truly failed? Done wrong? Father, have you seen Mother? Nay, my son, but search I shall. Tell me. Have you found yourself a woman yet? A woman worthy to rule Bolaro alongside you? Alas, Father, I have yet to find a bride I deem worthy. No bitches. Cunning, smart, brilliant... Warm, knowledgeable, caring. To find a woman who bears such traits is akin to finding gems in the sand. So very common. Oh, father, am I destined to be maidenless, with no heir to call my own? Without an heir, my rule will always be in question. Tips Fedora. Wars of succession have been fought over much less. Well, my son, much can change with the passage of time, but you will always be made... Oh, never mind. Perhaps there is something you do not know about. Your future. What li <laughs> Smart, 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 caring, basically. <laughs> Your future. What lies ahead? Ah, so it is you who will reveal the true vision. Could this be it? The answer? <laughs> You're going to need to try harder than that. That voice! No, 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 no! It cannot be. He's back? I told you I'd be back. First, let's take care of your father here. Your time is up once again, Lord Vespasian. No, Titus, you will someday understand the truth of your companions. Gwah! Father, no, not now. Not before you could show me the truth. His back is back. His back is back. You, Colonel Kitozoa, you are a dastard, a black heart, a fiend. A dark void lies in your chest where a heart once was. Do you not see the madness of your action? Do you really think I care about what you think? 
pathetic. Keep slinging your words, Navanese dog. I'll let my blade speak for me, my steel blade. Demon, try me. I have defeated you once, and I will do so again. Only the most noble and most true shall resign. Or shall reign, <laughs> not resign. Keep talking. The insult you spew will only whet the appetite of my sword. Sword? With my armor, dexterity, and superior tactics, the blade of yours which hungers will only beg like a newborn crow. Yearning and garbling, yet receiving nothing. As my enemy, prepare to be felled. Me? The enemy? You truly are delusional. How villains choose to see themselves as the heroes. You come to my lands and insert yourself into my affairs. I sought to oust the queen, to save my country, to forge Mahala into paradise. But you ruined those dreams. And left my daughter fatherless. I am filled with shame, and thus I wander aimlessly, alone. That is, until now. You see, Lord Titus. Dude, get to the point. You see, Lord Titus, I am not your enemy. The enemy is you. You did this. You muscled your way down a path for glory, but you will only be met with your untimely demise. I'll take pleasure in this. Blasphemous treason. On guard. On guard, I say. Oh no. What's happening? My daughter. I may have filled you once, but I vow to never again. I don't expect you to understand why it's come to this. But know that it was all for you. Now rise, my army. Defeat Lord Titus. We will end this now. And if all else fails, I still have my finishing move. Not again. Not again. Of all the types of drats, all combined would fail to match my anger. My fear. Oh heavens. Am I to die out here, in this bed of sand? No. I mustn't. Perhaps I can. My companions? It was as if as father spoke. Perhaps my companions will too support in dire moments. Yes, that must be it. My companions. Nay, my friends. Come forth. Friends? Reality is what I choose to see. Reality is often disappointing. <laughs> you have no friends. Nobody likes you. I can envision them all. Maybe this. Oh no! Oh no! It's back. Oh, well, we gotta blast this now. We have no choice. It's gonna be a little loud. It's so good. It's so good. What the heck? Oh, that's a lot of vision. Thanks, sir, uh, Thieves. Yeah, Titus has willed the prep screen into existence. First we'll do this. I'm a Baron! Big Titus. Holy crap, that's a good promotion bonus. Giga gains. Oh, stabs. Light magic. Oh, let's go. Dark magic. Big Titus. Would you look at that? Alright, let's turn it back to normal. Big Titus. Second Kaya. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I get rid of this awful member card. Let me sell my gems. Uh, let's deposit these nuts. What are your weapon levels now? Seen everything. All right, perfect. <laughs> gems. Sell the gems. Yeah, Flux Titus seems kind of good. I love Big Titus. <laughs> uh, oh no. All right, we don't need that. We need Thunder. The other reason I used the. Uh, uh, Arc Wind is because it doesn't weigh him down, unlike everything else. Can I get Flux here? I can. Nice. Steel Sword to someone? Your mom has a Steel Sword. Oh, you mean Steel Blade. I mean, Sword doesn't need it. Merge this. 
Dun 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 I feel like you could use the Sword Reaver. I don't know where my Sword Reaver was all this time. Oh, it's kind of low. I need a new one. Please tell me I can buy one somewhere. Big thumbs up. Oh, he better still thumbs up people. If he doesn't thumbs up people, I'm gonna complain. So, is this all desert again? So much desert, holy shit. It might be time to like, actually bench some armor units. This cringe. Um, we gotta promote her soon, but we might as well get the last level right. It's so close. I kind of want both thieves for this one. So, no Larissa again, I guess. Uh, maybe Sarka isn't too great here. Is there like a better pillar that's like more move? Maybe Lajos is okay here. Most of these are kind of cringe, but I kind of feel like ditching some of these units. Like, they just didn't do anything last chapter. I'm never ditching the duck though. I think we can probably do without... I'm definitely bringing Vernon to this one. No questions asked. I have his desert items too. Oh no. Oh wait, I actually have, that, have the map handy too. Yeah, I got this. No worries. Let's see. I see a teal gem, a sapphire lance, an earth seal, torch, and an arc fire. Beautiful. Honestly, I can bench Sarka. Because I'm not, I don't want to bench Duck. I can field her and get out of that last level with the level. Because like they're not doing shit anyway, but at least she can promote now with this turn and everything. And this Kaya, we could throw it on the on the big Titus, uh, or we could do something more funny with it. I really want to train Esfrey more. Do I have like a really good sword for her somewhere? I don't need this light room. Uh, I need like having Esfrey as an option would be good. I guess a brain pump would be nice. I have a wind sword. It's kind of winning. Do we face like flyers here? Not really, but we have like these cringe lords here that we can fight with her. As yeah, so S is gonna be so close to promoting or uh, getting level five skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, some shamans here. It's fine. We can take that. We'll just have Titus uh, back her up because they're not gonna attack Titus anyway. Ruby sword is kind of nice here, though. Let's see. I gotta change anything else. I don't think so. I guess like the steel sword would be kind of nice, or the steel blade would be good to put on someone. Fighter inventories. I mean, I see the hammer. Yeah. Oh, they're oh they're anti Titus, of course. So we need, actually need her up here. Yeah. Actually, don't don't put Titus here. Yeah. Then uh, we we'll use duck instead. Uh, what about you? Oh, they're all hammers. Cringe. Oh, a steel or earth seal that I can sell. I guess. Uh, that will be a job for Dreyfus. And you'll be next to each other for eternity. I guess Larissa is like completely awful here then. I guess Larissa can fight here, actually. There you go. Isn't Duck also armored? I don't think so. Doesn't say so. So I don't think he is armored. Kion Fajeda is restored. Yeah. I mean, Stork is already level 6, so probably not him. There's no, like, other tier for promotion. Maybe Duck? What did I do with my last Kaya? Does anyone remember? Armored Cav? I guess. I mean, we'll see. I, I didn't see it before, to be fair. I, you're right. It does say that. We'll see. If not, we can put Bosco there instead. Or, um... Then who can we put there instead? You use Lances, right? Yeah. I guess it's just gonna be S3 on our own. Duck is armored, cringe. Okay. Let's have, oh, Titus has him. Okay, so I'm not gonna give the other one to Titus. I'll probably just give it to maybe Osain because she's thumbnail girl, or for Galus. He's really cool. He does a lot of work. Honestly, I don't really mind. Let's give it to Duck. He's got the most levels to go. <laughs> Duck. Duck's in check, guys. Duck emojis. Bring him on. Galera. Yeah, we can just not make use of the, the item at all. Leave it in convoy. I like it. Alright. So Jafe is gonna go here, fight these goons. This goon specifically. Yes, ducks. Yes, Titus got the last one, thanks. Alright, so you're gonna Ruby sort these fighters and hopefully be fine. 24 attack. 13. So what's Torch support right now? 
I'll use Larissa. Ray, Ray, Larissa. Interesting. Interesting, Larissa. Interesting. Very interesting. Go here. Alright. Let's go. Oh yeah, it doesn't reduce damage. Yeah, that's right. It only adds my own. Whatever. We'll use it anyway. Here it goes. So what's the damage here? Uh, significance, but not terrible. So this duck, yeah, duck gets murdered by these. <laughs> okay, we're not using duck here. Um, I guess we can have Stork go here instead and apply charm to her. I uh, like blocked away a little bit. Oh, it's the same music as before. Iron Sword, just to make sure they don't attack her. Oh, we can support here. I don't know if I want to though. Because it had the option before, but I don't really want that C support, so we're not going to do it. Alright, Ruby Sword. Yeah, it's a great track. It played in the last Dream Garden too. True facts about the duck? Uh, yeah, I think so. It was uh, definitely something. It was an experience for sure. Okay, just don't put anyone else there, I guess. Okay, uh, stay out of range of the armors, just go in range of Stork for the support. We just need 5 XP on Larissa and she can promote. Very gaming. Uh, watch out for this killing edge as we head over here. We need to steal this um, Earth Seal next turn. So let's go here, I guess. We'll just have to like take it easy. And this guy will like use his stupid final move again, probably. Do the funny. Uh, don't break the guy down. I guess he, I guess this person go down is fine, but I want to take Larissa so that uh, she gets uh, XP. And uh, Titus, they made him very bad here. Very bad. I don't know why. They just, they just did. They just decided, you know what, Titus, you're not doing shit this chapter. Run! Duck, run! Okay, whatever. This is what we'll roll with for now. Alright, let's go. Oh, what? Oh, it's, it's because he couldn't reach shit. I was like, why are you not attacking S here? But he couldn't reach S here. Goodbye. Yeah, he seems to be tripping very hard. I know for sure, though. We'll see at the end, right? Alright, go, Dreyfus. Survive four routes. Oh, I see. Good to know. Well, I can't venture out too far because, you know. Desert. Dude, this is so cringe. My ex my SV XP, no! Not Storch. Should have put anyone else here, really. Okay, please tell me at least the rest is gonna get attacked. Thank you. Dink. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Yay, Larissa action. Let's promote another armor unit here. Yes, Dreyfus is close to 5 and S Sphere, but S Sphere is S Sphere, whereas Dreyfus is Dreyfus. Excellent. On brand level up for uh, Larissa. Okay, now we steal. Dude, what the hell? You could have gone for S Sphere. Instead, they all just decide to suicide on storage. That's cringe. That's so sad. Play the Epic Zelda track. Falcon Knight. The heck? The heck, bro? You can't just bring a Falcon Knight in here. I can't reach that shit. I guess it's shuffling time. Uh, duck, move out of the way. Somewhere. Uh, I guess this way. Burn on, shove. I need to get rid of this stupid Falcon Knight, I think. Shove. Get out of here with your Sapphire Lance. Lightning Titus to counter Dark Mages. How about um, Sword Titus to counter the Hammers? The Mao got him. Take out the Lord. That's true. If you if you kill Lord, it's game over. They know the win conditions. All right. So two Sham shits. Steel Earth Seal. I have a lot of Mages. Yes, thanks. I noticed. That's because that's my team, my guy. <laughs> like. I'm not, I looked for fillers that were better than these, and I didn't find any, so this is what we went with. Alright, look. Armor units are fine, watch. See? Completely fine. Here you go. Yeah, you can never have enough of them. Exactly. 
Here, go ahead, crit me, cringe. Cringe Lord. Hmm. Got him. Okay, you can't get to me. I will promote. Everyone knows the filler episodes are the worst ones. What is the episode where Larissa promotes? That's not a filler episode. Alright, Larissa's good in general, hopefully. Where's Bosco? He shoved. Alright. At least general promotion is kind of epic. Stream crashes? No, it doesn't. Just promote, just uh, refresh. There you go. Did you just gain the ability to use swords? What? She did. She did. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so I guess we kind of have Galus stop gap this little bit here. And I guess S Fear can get this kill now. What it's worth. Uh, we might as well go with the Wind Sword, I suppose. Or do we want to? I guess there's a chance that this guy might attack, or probably not, though. Alright, Ruby Sword it is. Just don't get crit here. Thank you. I already stole. I got the Earth Seal. He's got it. Dreyfus has got this. Oh, this guy's gonna hammer uh, Titus if I give him a chance. Let's just block his way then. Hopefully he'll suicide into S-Fear. Or something. Uh, I could Barrier. I don't really see need to though. Let's see. Any Desert Island? No, all Desert Islands are up top, basically. Uh, they have like plenty of options that don't counter, so I'm just gonna move Dewey up as well, in preparation of like actually hitting people and stuff. There you know, I got this is this is my only barrier. I'm gonna hoard it. So the time comes. Yep, S Fear's been attacked. That's nine more XP. We're getting there. We are getting there. Oh I see female Merc. That's nice. Hello brigands. Uh, if he misses once I can kill. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's bad. Okay, list, this is not what I wanted to. Yeah, Ross Cameo. Hello. Kitosawa. What are the shamans gonna do? Oh, hello. Another Falco Knight? Is it the Falco Knight? Is it Pegasus Knight? We'll never know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Larissa gets natural cover here. That's kinda nice, I guess. Hello, Kitosawa's. I love saying his name. I hope he's the boss of every map from now here and out. Wow. Easy dodge. It's, it was below 50, so it was always going to miss. Looks like they got streaks around it. Wow. There is a dodge tank. Look at all these kills in reach of my armor units. Right, calm down with the reinforcements, guys. Do we heal? Yes, we do heal. Alright, I see you go for Bosco. We can't reach anything else, so that's what we're doing first. Get the Oko. Yes, Kilozawa quest. Get wrecked. Easy kill for Bosco. Uh, I kind of want to free stream, move him one down, so we're going to kill this Shaman with someone. Uh, Duck, are you up for it? I mean, is there any hammers left here? No, right? Let's, let's find a kill for S tier first. Uh, this guy? No. Maybe that guy. Maybe Fernand can weaken an enemy. Like he just kills. This is not bad either. Yes, Bosco. The best. Yeah, the AI locked my archer in. They they they're clever. They know what they're doing. They know what they want. They want them now. Alright, Larissa. I guess. There's no way there's like 500 more armors waiting for me here, right? No way. Get out of here. Think. Let's see, steal the bulls. Steal the bulls. Steal the bulls. Oh, light room. Uh, I guess Dreyfus can take that if we have to time to do it. We have to live for like 9 turns. What? What kind of dumb map is this? Okay. I see how it is. You can kill this guy then. Do I? Yeah, clever mode. And then this one goes to S-Fear. I also should try to have S-Fear kill the 
Falco, but unfortunately I don't have a dancer yet. That makes feeding a lot more easy. Um, go down. Trap this. Goodbye. Three moments. Do we can go here? <laughs> Suddenly the music gets interrupted for healing. We interrupt this uh, map for some healing animations. Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. Now, Sane off and Huey off. Uh, Fernet should be on. No, he still does heals, but whatever. I'll turn him off later. Uh, so, Drava steals and then. The worst case scenario is just money, right? You kill? And she does double, so yeah, she'll kill. She's not gonna miss her anything. There you go. Don't worry, Alexander. I know Dewey is a healer. I know what she does. You don't have to keep reminding me to heal with her. Oh, come on. Come on, Osain. You're supposed to hit things. Uh, Titus? I mean, you just counter these monks. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like actual human beings who actually value their lives. Conquest AI is better. You know, we, we do heal. We always heal. No reason not to heal. She can't do anything else. Um, you don't have a hammer. You have steel axe. That's fine. You actually don't have anything else, which is uh, an interesting choice on my part. I actually like this, though. I like that SV's getting attacked here for some more XP. Uh, we could Sisters Hope this guy, I guess. Sure. Yes. Guys, looks like he's doing a trust exercise. What do you mean? I, I can't, I'm gonna miss the thumbs up. I'm gonna miss the thumbs up. I'd rather protect Dreyfus. I'll just move Stork out a little bit more. Sister's Pope. Oh, falling backwards. <laughs> I'll look out for it. I didn't see it. Oh, it's because he like he leans back a little bit when he's about to like tome someone, right? I like the AP4 Barons. They just like barely move when he uses tomes. That's my favorite personally. Uh, shall we? Maybe. Pure water here or something? Like, go here. Like, how bad is it if I just get monked here twice? Not too bad. It, like, hurts them a little bit. I'm kind of worried about, like, a flyer coming in with a wing clipper or whatever, but I kind of want to do something here, so. They can't reach me. Okay, I'm gonna hit the fighter. Or, alright, I'm gonna attack the fighter. Let me put it that way. <laughs> Titus mass spending his units to, de his enemies to death. Go. I mean, Arden's basically a playable Baron. Oh, a free torch. Did I just find that there? Yeah, it is there. Okay, there's an arc fire there as well. And what is that other? So the the map on um, on the uh, website where you get vision quests has all the desert items, but it also has two tiles marked at the north. Nice one, I see here. Oh wait, it's Miasma. It just says it besides it, never mind. I was like, why isn't there an item listed there? Alright, that's for you, you can do this. I, have, I trust in you. Do it again. Do it again. Flippity flip. I actually don't think it matters anymore if she kills or not. She just needs to like, be in combat, and then she gets XP. Because the enemies here are so unleveled. Honest Poopy, he's good. Trust. The tearless person said so. Hello there. Alright, let's watch out for the... Just exercise. He's still kind of thumbs up. It's still kind of there. Kind of. Look, she did hit the fighter. It's not twice. Look, the important thing is that we're doing things with our flyer in the desert, okay? What exactly we do is, like, secondary. It's all, wait, what the hell? Who got healed there? Who did that? Who did this, Lamau? Uh, where's... Zero? Oh, she's here. Damn, cringe. Um, nothing here. Devil Axes. This is a trippy chapter. I like this warrior. This female warrior over here. The sham shit. I wish I had more short reuses. Let's see, this guy's another hammer. Well, I guess we're taking this one with the uh, S-Fear. 
Goodbye. Level up Fire Sphere. Well, she only has 10 strength, wow. I understand now why she doesn't kill anything. Uh, there's no, like, armor slayers here, so... Why don't we have our natural cure, or natural cover, not natural cure. These are going here, do some fighting. Maybe Monk has a skill. Well, not for long. He's gonna be a dead monk soon. Uh, this is why Titus needs his friends, guys. This is this is storytelling, but in a map. What is your skill? Isn't it like plus twenty percent health or something? Yeah. Or other units. It's uh oh oh you were asking my question. There we go. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, thank you. Um. So no one I really care about can reach that. We just have uh, Storko Ham, of course not. That would be lame. Have Titus go Ham here. We rescue drop him here with uh, with Helga and like someone else. I mean, he's got he's surprisingly light, right? He has like 12 con. Yeah, Stork can lift Titus. Deadlift Titus. We can even shove him up a little bit. That'll be that'll be enough too. Like move him here and like shove him a couple times. He's ready. Ready to rumble. I think we can do that. Vaughn. Uh, I think it's gotta be Galus. Shoves him up once. He's in range of almost everything already. We can do another shove, right? Let's do another shove. Give him a charm as well. Shove. There we go. Boom. Now I'll just take this bottom guy out with uh, Helga. Goodbye. Get Shrek. Oh, I should probably have flown towards Dewey. I don't think Dewey has anything to, re to heal this turn. Actually, she has S-Fear, right? Yeah, she has S-Fear, and S-Fear is not in range of anything. So, we get our second heal here. One more to go, and we'll be able to promote. Something drop balls, you have a torch staff. I have a torch staff somewhere, but I don't think it would reach uh as well. It'll probably reach me. <laughs> he uses his uh, Omaiwa ability. Um, supported by Helga. We should heal Helga, I guess. With Insane. Move our duck a little bit. Uh, this is actually normal ground, but I don't want to be in range of that guy. Let's go here. Nothing can reach this tile, right? No. Go here for a bit, see a little bit further into the fog. See if we bring it here. I think there's a Falcon Knight behind here. I don't know where they're gonna go. I'm leave Sri here so you can load, collect lost squares. Move you forward towards Osain. Move forward and towards the fray. Let's see what happens here. Alright, I think it's Titus kicking butt time. Hopefully they're done hammering me to death. Hopefully there's no like Wyvern Lord flying out of here with a hammer. That'd be kind of sad. I love enemies with devil axes. You know they're just made for our entertainments. And that's it. Goodbye. Yeah, Brave Hammer. That's probably what it would take to take down Titus at this point. Unless there's multiple. I don't know. He probably might survive a hammer. Single one, depending on who wields it. Oh, no. Anyway. Uh, double me? No? Okay. That's just balls and he gets hammered and he's on a true bender. <laughs> it's funny because he gets hammered. Alright, do it again. Yeah, Larissa Redemption Arc, finally. Just need to, needed a promotion, really? That's probably it, right? Okay, this loop is uh, a little repetitive now, honestly. It's a good theme, but once you've heard it, it kind of gets repetitive. Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn, I love it when the Transformers do that. Start with the general on a horse. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's good. It's really good. Alright, will Helga kill this monk after five rounds of combat? Hilarious, good animation. Goodbye. I want to see that crit a lot more often. Hopefully we get like a really high crit tone. I think that one's dead. I think Titus is a Sith Lord. Oh no. Someone getting a 
personal throwing hammer? You don't mean Arcady, right? He has like a throwing sword of right? There's a mage. Not afraid of mages. That's a steel bow. Might be a dead steel bow. Oh, come on. You can't double that. You have Pursuit, my guy. I'm an FE4 player. I see Pursuit, I think, doubling. Oh, what's happening here? The dog still draws breath, yet he dares to approach me. The arrogant swine. I will end him. Not again. Lord Titus, says Dreyfus. My blade will pierce your armor, and I will cut you down. Shayasa, I will have my vengeance for you. I will forge the ultimate world, free of tyranny. No one will get in my way. Oh my god. This is the guy that doesn't put himself on mute when he should have, when he died in Amogus. Okay, I don't have the speed to steal from him. So, I'm afraid it's not gonna be... Actually, I can't even get anything from this guy. Long Dao. Reverses weapon triangle. Effective versus wyverns. Cringe. Armor Slayer, damn. He's got some new weapons, guys, but he warped himself right in the middle of ours. Does he always warp here? Does he, like... Is this just a spot he goes to? It's, uh, it's very well chosen, I gotta say, in this case. <laughs> the what thou? I know, right? Okay, so Vegas is 18. Bosco does, like, 24 at 100 hit. And, uh... Titus can probably talk to him again, so you should probably use Titus first. I know one has the rune, but we can get it out of the convoy if we want to. We can even trade it around. We should do that. We can hit with Titus. Or we can kill him with Titus. I mean, we did give him the things, the Kai earlier, so... How about... You don't really fear a crit, right? Eh, not really. 24... 20... Oh, did it's combined to already kill him. Uh, 3. Did a good job last time. 17. Takes a lot of damage. I guess 18 is pretty perfect, honestly. He also doesn't face crit because he's at range, so we just do this. You choose to align yourself with him, suit yourself. My blade care not for the flesh it rends. In this world, <laughs> there are choices you make that matter. Those you choose to remain loyal to. Those we leave behind. I made a promise to those I care about. And I will see it, even through death. Oh yeah, I guess Vegetus just has good luck. And I think this will be pretty hard to get a boss kill on for Esphere, considering her 11 strength. I can do a damage check, though. 9 damage, actually not terrible. Yeah, this guy is, uh, is an interesting guy. Okay, we can hit him with Stork now. Uh, just didn't get my... Iron Rune out. Hit him in the face. No crit. Not a crit. Yeah, he's a poet, alright. Okay, I'll hit him in the face with S-Fear. I'll check, a, I'll check for a combo with uh, Titus, and I'll reset and I'll get him with uh, S-Fear. I just want to see what he says. You, Lord Titus, dare to face me? You may have bested me once before, but I am incensed with a rage unlike any other. A roaring flame sears the air my blade strikes. Come now, you desert. Embrace your death. I will not die today. I still have to understand the truths of the future. I will not be denied my ambition. A lowly traitor's worm like you is merely a stepping stone towards my achievements. Hmm. Imbecile. I will purify the world by removing you from it. Okay, that's that. That's them talking. But let's feed it to Esphere. Ruby sword. Goodbye, Kitozawa. Shayasa, forgive your father. Glory to Mahala. Not even a level up. Esphere, please. All right, I'm not gonna feed his devil axe. In fact, I shouldn't feed his devil axe. I would like an actual axe though on her, so let's give her an emerald axe. Duck, good even when he's not attacking. Emerald axe! I'm gonna take the terrain, I'm gonna take the fort. I don't give a shit. Hello, mage. How's it going? I hope he goes for duck. Duck hasn't eaten yet. I can even longbow the mage, but I think that would just be. That nah, wouldn't be bad actually. Uh, here? Longbow mage? Sure, let's do it. Yeah, Titus is just very weird in this chapter. <laughs> I don't know if he's written out of character or if he's actually supposed to be this way. 
and boss warping. I literally shocked. <laughs> literally, I couldn't even stand. No stickables. I see a nice hammer. Ready to punch Titus's face in. Very nice of them. Uh, boss go can probably handle this guy. I'm tired of missing this guy. Griffith vibes. I don't know who Griffith is. All I know is I just gotta kill with Bosco. Uh, same. Next to Bosco is fine. Heal Helga. Heal Reno. Uh, this guy has a Shemshir. You don't kill him. Fernand. Do it. I want to kill this warrior. That's possible. What do you have again? How much damage do you do? What's the current temperature? Oh jeez, a steel bow. I mean... We could use Titus for that, but then we face the hammer. So, do we kill the hammer? Is that the answer to the questions I seek? We need to get like a lot more items in a couple times, so maybe we should just move Helga all the way up. Let's kill the hammer here. I mean, I didn't read Berserk. There we go! Transformers crit. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Yeah, don't worry too much about these guys. Really not worry about those guys. I wonder if I can move up there. Let's move a little bit with Dreyfus and see, alright? I kinda wanna shove him further in. I wanna be in range of all this crap here. Maybe just bait the steel bow guy, that's it. Uh, I can pivot above Sidus. That'd be an interesting maneuver. It is in range of the steel bow, but we can kill an enemy here. I want to see what's up in here. I could also just torch from like a safer spot and then the next turn go all in. I think I like that better. Just torch, give me a torch and torch. There you go. Hey, you berserker with an earth seal. I kind of done going all out for stealables that are just earth seal because I have enough earth seals already. I know this is meant to be Iron Man friendly, but damn. Uh, what do you have equipped? Okay. Oh, you can actually check with bow damage, let's see. I think it's because this warrior has this thing activated. I'm not a super big fan of just facing that. Let's see, I need to get the Sapphire Lance, the Teal Gem, and the Miasma. Miasma is the hardest one to get, but I can still get it, I think. I kind of want to just... Oh, maybe I can kill the warrior with Vernon. I can. I think that's good. Let's do that. He seems annoying. Drink guest torch. Okay, this guy, this shims here. It might kill Vernon actually, but that'd be sad. With Sword River? I can't. I literally can't, Lamal. I also can't heal anything. Maybe one of these units will take damage though, and then we can heal. Uh, what do I kill here? Maybe I just rescue. On, but I can't be bothered. I think I'll kill the bow guy and then enemy face a berserker, maybe? Oh, I don't really want to give him the fork, though. Oh, he can go there. Interesting, but he doesn't have a crit bonus, so he's not that scary. 16 speed, I have 13. Yeah, we can just go here and iron axe this archer. I could kill the fire, but he's at half HP. I don't really care about him. Goodbye. Let's get rid of the archer so that the space is like all safe for Helga. Devil Axe, my beloved. Comedy Axe. I think this game is the same formula for XP as FP7, FP8, which means I'm gonna get like the same XP here. I got 8, eight XP for that with her, so let's see what she gets if she kills. Alright, don't kill me. Oh, use the Ruby Sword, what? We did not see crit rate. Right? I guess the enemies just don't see crit rates. Because he had a Shamshi, or he couldn't Oko with it. Inside this is less damage. 13 damage, that's fine. Take those. He has less XP than GBF. Oh geez. I okay, got 10 XP for chipping a prominent enemy. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Hello there. You're gonna get doubled. Mm hmm. 
Is this an unpromoted pack this night? Let's see how much we get for this, for killing this guy. We got 8 XP for chipping the armor egg, right? Yeah, we got 10 XP for killing, so it's like... Two more. Mm -hmm. Oh, an elf fire mage. A little mage, how cute. Adorable. Okay, let's see some reinforcements have come in. That is unfortunate. Alright, let's go get. It's turn 6 out of 9, guys. Very nice. Gotta get through this somehow. And boss goes out of range. S fears not. But if we have, I'm not gonna steal that air seal. I'm like done with that shit. I'm gonna take this kill with S fear. Last ruby sword use. Gotta get there. It's, it's fine. Like the logic is like, okay, there's so much I mean, enemies that you get less XP. It's completely fine, but it does make chapters more tedious because you feel like you're not going to get benefit from doing anything. You're just kind of doing it because it needs to be done, you know what I mean? It's just kind of there at that point. Uh, shove. Maybe you get this guy to fight S Fear. Wouldn't that be funny? Shove. Yeah, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? Sure, let's do it. Uh, I do want to kill this Pegasus Knight though. Or have him fight. It's free, that's fine too. Or I can Sagittate a Pegasus Knight. Ooh. Axe Raver, that's free. <laughs> it's also free. Uh, mage. It's fallen. Don't want to be get uh, cut off Carl of Carl by Hammers. I kind of want to see further into the fog here with Helga. Let me just fall up. Fly a little bit further. Quarters of time never ends. I know, right? And there's no items here. That's when the flying rage of the miasma. So let's go here. Something force maybe. Hello. You. Oh, no, a moving armor knight. This is new. Actually, for kind of annoying. Actually, that's probably gonna attack her. Okay, that's fine. I'll deal. Get this bottom mage out of here. Have you ever talked about map design in a previous video, Mecha? Not... I haven't really focused the video on map design. There's a video about Marco Joel on map design, it's pretty good. But I've never really dedicated the video to it. Uh, duck kill, finally. This time has finally come. Bopper has made a couple videos like that too, yes. Alright, Sapphire Lance. That's the item I was looking for. Oh, there's an uh, Earth Seal on the top left. Uh, but it's like Flyer only. Damn. I guess Helga has more destinations than just one. Maybe we can like Rescue Drop there? No, this has to be a Flyer. Damn, so the Helga needs all her turn to get to the Earth Seal there. That's so sad. Well, again, it's like, I don't really care about Earth Seals personally. Uh, do I just kill the Flyer? I think I do. Well, no matter what, something is going to attack Shree, so might as well just leave the Flyer alive. Kill the Devil Axe. Oh yeah, Warp would use Warp. Warp would work. I could, I could just get someone trapped with warp, I guess, yeah. Use a warp for an earth seal seems like... It's basically just selling a warp use for like a thousand gold at this point. It seems pretty cringe to me. Uh, I do need to heal again. Oh, you're not... Oh, I gotta do this. That's fine, though. Let's do this. And this will get her to level 20, right? Yes, there we go. Here we go. But I was designed this video called Dagdar. More like that Dar. Uh, I'll just kill this fighter so like he doesn't trigger people's OCD anymore. Pronoun seems like a nice filler. Like a really good one. Nice staff rank. Nice utility. Uh, who's left? Oh Bosco. Bosco, my beloved. Let's go, Galus. Alright, so Helga's probably gonna face like a million arc. Oh, nice, nice backfire, my guy. Nice backfire. Get Shrek, my guy. Okay, so that's a dead Kito Zawaz. Oh, hello, Hammer Guy. Let's just give uh, 1.5 thousand gold. Okay. Yes, funny axe unit, the funny, funny thing. I love Devil Axe backfires. I 
like accidentally rest the map and misses desert items. Not too unlikely, actually, but th that there's a priest alive, so it'll be fine. Alright, this is not a free kill for Asphere. And if she doubles here, she will level up, I think. Oh, never mind, she doubles up anyway. Level 5, what are we getting? Don't spoil the name, but... Not sure what it does yet. I have a suspicion what it does, but I really don't want to know what skills do until I have them. Monk. Uh, yeah, you can play this on your GBA ROM hack, or your GBA emulator, as long as you can get that working in general. I've never actually made a GBA farm work on my phone, so I couldn't tell you. But yes, it should work. It does something incredible. Let's see it. Let's see it. I mean, I have my suspicions, because people kind of spoiled it through hints. Which, please don't do it. If it's what I think it is, then it'll be really funny. I like how she's just killing actually for Pegasus Knights. With no sweat whatsoever. Okay, no reinforcements uh, zoom, so that's good. Uh, I have three turns left. I wonder... Okay, this is a temple. I need to be like here to get the Miasma, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I can get there with my Flyer. That's fine. I can leave this uh, this Priestess alive. Uh, so, Steel Plus. You can steal unequipped weapons and staffs if Khan had it away. Ah, so it's 9 Steel. Ah, yes, that's what I thought. So, we can steal this now, which is nice. Very nice. Encryption Lies. Lies! 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 Ah! Wait, equal or better than Khan. Okay. I thought it lied in a more important way. That's fine. Alright, so... We just need an Earth Seal now. Let's see, I'm just going to have a phone with Helga. I wonder if she'll get the item if I can't go onto the space. Because I'm not sure if there's going to be an enemy here. So let's see. Phone. And then Kanto. Nice. Very nice. Send that one to supply. Supplies. And I don't have an Earth Seal here, per se. I'll have one soon. <laughs> Let's get Kraken. Don't kill this Priestess, because I might route the map by accident. It can actually happen. Um, if, if I could shove Duck, I would. But I can't. Yes, my asthma. Silver Sword. This is gaming. Ooh, now I can hoard even harder. Steal from Priestess. Does she have anything stealable? Oh, she does have a Physic, you're right. Uh, in that case, we should probably work on shoving Esphere up here. Or rescue dropping her up here. Both should work. Um, I can do like a couple shoves. Support Esphere? For non? I mean, I might feel it more often. Sure, why not? Might have to kill up Lyra at some point. Hey, Esphere, tell me. How have you fared since your move to Rask? We hadn't much time to catch up since we met again. Ah, Sage for non. I am well. Thank you for asking. Lyra still often speaks of her time under your tutelage. Does she know? Ah, that warms my heart to hear her speak so fondly in my in the dream of Stone Titus. The girl has come quite a long way, and even more so on your quest. Yes, Lara has handled herself well. It helps keep me at ease. Ah, yes, at least as much as a parent as a child can. A parent will always worry. Indeed. Dun -dun -dun. All right, it's shoving time. Of. I think she moves three in a desert. I believe. We will find out. I think this is enough for now. I'll move Titus a little bit out of the way. And I will use the good old Iron Lance. Double waifu support. <laughs> Burn on waifu too. They're not, they're not actually having this combo. Titus is high, yes. But they're going to remember having this combo in the future and give each other support bonuses. Do I have Dreyfus? I have Dreyfus here with the Torch Vision, right? Yeah. That's helpful. Uh, it is a good song. Do I have the thing in the conflict right now? I'm not going to do a whole lot more of this chapter. Let's just do this. I have one in the conflict right now, so I could get one over there, but whatever. Let's just end turn. Mystery inventory. Oh yeah, it's fine. Uh, she's already clear. 
All clear, Captain. Hello. Nice weapon triangle. You can take Scylla from Thief. Scylla. Thief. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, the seal from... Oh, do I have a seal on him? That's kind of poggers. Alright. Uh, we need you over there. We need to steal this. Uh, I'll take the physic, thank you. I guess I can even steal the men next turn because it's not equipped. Wow, that's poggers. Alright, so let's scout the map a little bit while we trade to here. Take this earth seal. And, uh. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Let's promote the Dewey! Promote the Dewey. Yeah, I bet she's like, maybe she's actually there to prevent you from running by accident. If you don't want to. Alright, Brown Valk. Pretty nice HP boost. Nothing else too significant, but you know, all around good stats, good stats. Light Magic, you hate to see it. But at least it's not GBAFE, right? So Light Magic is actually decent. Whee! Can we get the Earth Seal? We have one turn left to fly over there with 100% chance of getting it. Tensions are rising, I tell you. Tensions are rising. Double Dewey. Ah, yes, we have S rank stabs now. Gaming. <laughs> Let's go. You'll heal. I guess it's better than fire. Alright, fine. You win, person who has actually played the game. Earth Seal. Another one. Okay, so we have Sapphire Lance, Earth Seal. I don't have the Teal Gem yet. I do have Larissa right over here. There you go. Got it. By accident. But we got it. Uh, Torch... Arcfire, I think I'm probably missing that one. Unless Fernan can reach. In which case, calculate it. Damn nice. How good is this? Uh, that's pretty heavy. But you know what? It's good. So we'll take it. Arcfire, Torch, I got that one. Yeah, I got everything. Steal the Mint? Hell yeah, I can. Watch this. Oh, hold up. Steal. Here you go. And then maybe Titus can fittingly end his conquest here. Well, he's close anyway. Um, Hellgast on support range. Ah, I don't want to use a Diathon just to kill a Priestess. Maybe she'll live. Can I build weapon rank on a Priestess? Alright, Thunder the Priestess. Maybe get the double Megatron crit. There you go. Okay, time for some story. <laughs> My, what's happening? Why am I fighting? My head. I'm starting to question the true nature of my reality. This is deep. I need to get some more water before I read more lines. Be right back. I'm starting to question the true nature of my reality. Here we are. I am starting to question the true nature of my reality. Hello, Matty. Welcome to the stream. Perhaps I must head back. Just leave everyone else behind. It'll be fine. Did they all just 
vanish. This has indubitably been a bizarre evening. I've strayed quite far and I can see that some beginning to peer. Yet I wish to further understand the future that lies ahead. But first, I must return to Bolaro with this knowledge in tow. One step at a time is what father would say. The enemy is you. <laughs> Shock and horror. Enlightened by darkness. <laughs> it's like that last promise chapter. It's like the truth of lies. It's just the best. The Royal Summer Manse, a castle in the remote northeast, is surrounded by shifting sands and unforgiving heats. All I see is grass, personally, but maybe they're just green sand. Few seldom travel through this part of Mahala, save for the few villagers that call this wasteland their home. Mahala royalty has used this castle as a reprieve of sorts, from the bustling day-to-day -day of life in the capital city, in order to get much needed rest. Despite its harsh environments, immediately surrounding the manse is a lush oasis where green grasses, citrus, and palm trees grow. Hey, citrus, that's food. I do like food. Plus one for food. I think sand is not food, personally. Also, I don't think palm trees are fruit. Creating a tranquil and serene setting, ideal for rest and relaxation. I like how someone in chat is like, oh the boy, the worst chapters you want everything. That's a good mix with the whole relaxation, citrus fruit, palm tree vibe. Man, oh man, I can't get over this place. Mahala makes Bolaro look second rate. That's because it is. Now, forget this. Bolaro is perfectly lovely. It is both quaint and rustic. And it is our home. Home Shmome. This place is incredible. I wonder what kind of taxes she raked in to make this place. And just think. She only lives here for the summer. She really lives like a king, wouldn't you say? I'd say she lives more like a queen. Here comes Storch. Storch, did you enjoy your time in the garden? I've walked around this whole dang castle for a week. I feel like I've explored every nook and cranny in this place. It's nice and all, but I'm ready to go home. You know Lord Titus is busy. He is meeting the queen and a few other close attendants. I presume they're negotiating treaty agreements. Poor guy must be sweating talking to the big shots. Something tells me the Mahalan royals are less ostentatious than the ones from our homeland. That is one way to put it. This noble stuff is wearing me out. Too much posturing for my liking. Say what you need to say and get on with it. I understand how you feel, Storch, but you must be patient. It'll be weeks before we are home anyway. Enjoy yourself. You're in a new place. Alright, I'll be more patient. Let me check in on Marlon. I'll see you all in a bit. <laughs> yeah, you better check in on Marlon. I, I might have killed him a little bit. So that about sums up what I intend to do. Of course, I'd like to travel with your group for the time being. I don't know. I'd be worried about being on the road for that long, you know? What makes it different than what we're doing now? I like how the Lyra's uh, cape is the same color as the green sand. Or the... the grasses or whatever it is. Marlon, you're being silly. Now, now, Lyra. It's a big commitment. <laughs> Marlon is wise for thinking things through before he makes his decision. We have plenty of time, lad. It'll be fun, and we'd be doing a good thing, too. Sage Vernon wants to help out the orphans. Don't you want to be a good person and help them, too? Just think about the orphans, Marlon. Helping orphans is good and all, but who will help my family? Who will help Storch? It's not like Augustine is around anymore. Or Marlon. If I flew to Coop, I, it'll just be poor old Storch. Stuck at home with the parents. They need my help running the farm too. Yeah, go back, asshole. <laughs> Don't the orphans need your help more, Marlon? Hmm. Those orphans sure sound like they could use it. I just need to think about it a bit more. Maybe I should talk to Storch. Very well, Marlon. Lara has spoken highly of your character, and I would welcome the opportunity for us to work together. <laughs> that good one. The three of us helping out these at-risk youths, teaching them an education, teaching them a bit about magic and store play, it will be rewarding. You're old enough to think on your own, Marlon. Don't forget that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Their previous romance was ruined by a dead brother, so it stands the reason that another dead brother would sort that out. Marlon, guess you're growing up. Hmm. X to doubt. 
Ah, the Queen, I assume. Well, Lord Titus, I believe this is the start of a wonderful relationship. Indeed, Your Majesty, to invite me here it is a great honor. Although it is shameful that I must hide my pride in the shadows for fear of the Emperor's wrath. But I suspect you brought me here knowing full well the risk. Tell me, Your Majesty, what do you know? You're rather astute, Lord Titus, but you're naive in the boldness of your approach. Taking such a large retinue of knights, spilling blood on your journey and asking me directly. <laughs> it is no wonder Navan has so much inter internal strife. Especially if this is how, they ma how their leaders manage their relations. But I admire your resolve. Your resilience is palpable. Lord Titus, what I am about to share with you is of utmost importance, and if it goes unchecked, could wreak havoc on the entire continent. Is it safe to speak of such dire things here? Think of the guards here only as shadows, an insurance policy of sorts. They have no ears nor mouths. It is just you and me. And a couple guards, but they don't they don't count. They don't they don't matter anything, as some bolting sages and ballistas, but they don't do anything. I presume your bodyguard over there can hear this too? Yes, Helga is my most trusted confidant and bodyguard, like you said. So tell me, your majesty, what is it? The sage Vernon has spoken to you of a dark energy that is pulsing through the land. I believe to know the source of it. According to our spies, a shadowy figure has appeared by the side of the Emperor. This was a precursor to the drastic shift in tax policy in Bolaro and the commoners' imprisonment for failure to pay their debts. Knowing now that Bolaro has still a strength left, the Emperor looks to the west. So you believe the Emperor first sought to spill the blood of his own people? I don't believe, Lord Titus. Of this, I am certain. Please excuse me, but Bolaro is not well known for its might or riches. Who would notice if a few commoners from the countryside were to simply disappear? The flow of these sentences is kind of throwing me off. So you see why now. It pains me to admit it, Your Majesty. Regardless of all that, why does he need the prisoners? I don't understand his aim. That is still unknown to me, but I won't waste time theorizing. Regardless, when forcing Lord Gradin to raise taxes, he did so assuming Balaro would not resist. Seeing the unrest and the will of his own people, he now needs a new source of prisoners. To the west, so to Kaching, the nation of plainsmen. We Nevanese do not have a fantastic relationship. Yes. Kaching and Nevan have had a challenge have had a challenging history, to say the least. There is resentment from the Western Nevanese towards the Kaching. The Emperor plans to take advantage of this animosity, so he will wage war. It is unclear if there is an end game to this. Blah 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 food, blah 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 taxes, blah blah blah. But base, no, not really. Blah 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 dark forces, blah 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 emperor, blah blah, blah war, more like it. <clears throat> but my fear is that these dark forces that have caused Emperor Fastan to change will target Mahala next. The nations of Orobro, Mastin, and Friung, they too may be targeted. This is harrowing news. It is, but there is hope. Your fellow lords of state, do you know them well? I have met with some of them since rising to the throne, while others I met when studying in the capital's military academy. Are they to be trusted? You are a discerning man, Lord Titus. You will be the best judge of character. I summoned you here as you are a fresh face. The others, their loyalty will be tested, and I do not dare test it with folk that have no vested interest in Mahala. I trust the trade agreement will be more than satisfactory. Indeed. Your Majesty, thank you. Thank you for this warning, dire as it may be. I am only looking out for Mahala's self-interest. We are wary of these forces, and we will not yield to them. You too, Lord Titus, must prevail. It is for this reason that I asked you to come here in secret. I see. Your Majesty, I... Your Majesty, please excuse my intrusion, but we are under attack. But you have no mouth, my guy. We are unable to identify them. I guess they don't have faces. They don't have eyes. They seemingly appear out of nowhere. Some sort of dark wizard appears to be commanding them. What? No one should know we are here. You don't have the forces to adequately defend the mans. Please make sure that young Kalea and Ikea, Ikea are kept safe. It's probably Ikea, but Ikea is gonna be what she's called now. Or he. I will not let my children see the sight of war just yet. 
Tell the remaining soldiers to get into positions outside. At once. Perhaps, Your Majesty, this is why I took such a large retinue of knights with me. Let me take the castle defense and lead us to victory. We will not falter on this day. Lord Titus, thank you. I too will take the field. Hokulani! Yes, Queen Akela. Join Lord Titus's force. You will assist from the skies. Find a messenger and have them sent for reinforcements. We must hold them until they can arrive. Yes, Queen Akela. I will ensure it is done. Oh boy. It is a desert. The Summer Palace. Not too far from where I grew up. Ian, I can sense you've come back home too. But that life is long gone. I am born anew. And will do what I must do. My enemies. They will perish here. Ooh, Tien? Ah, the old preps music. It's back. Akela. Queen of Mahala, known for her sharp mind. Those are some pogger stats. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting late. Uh, what skills do you have, girl? Staff Savant? Ooh, not the fates one, unfortunately. And Discipline. Okay, Mulfetter. Physic. Okay, she's gonna heal my boys. And Mahalan squads. Is that a. Oh, there's two more. Two girl members else, but they have like the mill uh, portrait. Iron Sword, really? Those are definitely inadequate defenses, girl. A body ring? Oh, is it stealable somewhere? Hmm. Oh, it's here. Eh. That's not too bad. Just have to get over there, basically. It reminds me of fe 8s desert chapter a little bit. It's like. If you just look at this part, it's just the FE8 one, but with less desert. Like, there's some sand here, sure, but it's not that much. Like, how far can someone extreme like, move? Like, yeah, that's fine. That barely impacts me at all. Not even a challenge. Uh, but we are a bit surrounded. It's like a defend map with a couple easy choke points, but I'm assuming it's not going to be that easy to defend. Yeah, it doesn't seem super hard to me, but maybe that's just my normal mode since speaking. Draco shield, what's the goal? Survive, okay. Again, survive. Gemstone worth 2,500. Steal that for sure. The red gem here. Let's look if they have a red gem. Wait, I can't. Oh, there we go, it's at the bottom. Okay, let me see if I can just scan through these real quickly for stealables. Not here, not here, not here. Honestly, it's just quicker to do this, honestly. Ooh, Elixir. Gaming. Oh, Teal Gem. Teal Gem, my favorite. There we go. Okay, so there's a couple stealables. It might be worth to like, keep deploying like two thingies for these, honestly. 16 slots is nice. That means we can bring like Rustlin or we can bring Tien. Like the game was kind of hinting that he should be over here. Oh, is there another more desert items here? No way, right? Hmm. I don't see another map on the thing, so there's probably no desert items. Is there boots here? That's easy if you draw a normal side jacket. I bet, yeah. Yes, we still the extra enemy uh, weapons. Enemies have, to have two now. Uh, yeah, she can. So let me see. So you can still like this hand axe, I guess. If she had the con for it, obviously. Our deer. Is he here? Ooh, there we go. Let's just kill him. We don't have to steal from him. We can steal this killer lance. It's kind of epic, I think. Um, oh, I see what you mean with the body ring. Yeah, I can increase her con and she can steal more things. That's kind of nice. Uh, she needs to get the thing first. I guess it'll be kind of tough to like get units out here because uh, uh, it's like Reaver City up in here. And he's with secondary weapons. is kind of annoying. Or Dreyfus. Is yeah, but Dreyfus... See, I thought you make the mistake of assuming that I like Dreyfus, but I don't. <laughs> I like S for you. Yeah, like, I think everyone's promoted now. I think that was the last promotion this last chapter, basically. I mean, I could promote Honey too, but like, who cares? Makes just bolting. Cringe. Sad. Not epic. This mage? Ah, whatever. It doesn't move. Like, it, unpromoted magic doesn't really scare me that much. Like, it only has 24 attack. I do get a new unit, yes. But that unit's promoted, I assume. Yes, Thief Mom is the best. But checking these enemies and their weapons is gonna be a pain in the ass during the chapter when I actually play it, which is not gonna be now. Because I am the tired. Let's check another recipe before we go. 
But yeah, this, this seems like a fun map. I can, I can deal with this map. I'm from Mortis? Cringe. Guess I'll bring an Earth Seal. Yeah, seven Seedables, which means why? Let's all bring Dreyfus. And probably like Rustlin, so we can like bring people over. Here are my preps now. Wait, what? There's bottom? Where are you at? Oh, there's Force. Never mind. Let's check her out. Kalani, Mahalan Royal Guard, Serious and Proud. Oh, Lance Pegasus. Okay, nice. What's the skill set? Savior. We take those. Canto, Wind Disciple, plus 10 hit and avoid my who's on max. Okay. That's a lot of strength. That's 17 strength is quite a lot. She's a strength Pegasus. She's kind of good. Yeah, Pegasus Knight, more like Pogasus Knight. Oh, to leave if you want a third thief. That's not a bad idea. Oh, purge to like <laughs> just kill the kill the threat at range. Oh, that is bad on a hard. How? I guess her defense is kind of low, but her HP is high. Her sets are pretty good. This unit can't possibly be bad. I mean, I guess my other units have outgrown her a bit, but like these bases are comparable to like Vernon's. Like she has like two less strength than the Galas of all people. Also, damn, her magic is high now. She have more than Osain now. Yeah, <laughs> my Dewey has more magic than my Osain. What the heck? Fifty-five, forty-five. Either Dewey got blessed or Osain got screwed somehow. Dun. Yeah, you see, I see your mistake was leaving her out promoted. Guess I'll promote her like right away. Oh, yeah, I need to get do a uh, light tome. I think I have one. Yeah, there you go. She can use purge. What the heck? Insane. I don't have anyone else who can use light magic. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna bring some uh, some purge in. Poggers. She's 15, right? 10 for promo. Hey, that's on the rage. Seraphim. Yeah. yeah. I'll prep for this for longer. I do have Tien, yes, but uh, he is on the on that bench, as we say. Alright, oh, so I think it's Shamans, that's right. Okay, fair enough. I let's see. Is there any benefits to bring Tien other than like a boss convo? Like, is there more to it than that? Because the boss mentioned him, so I'm assuming that, like, there's like something to it. I should bring him. Secret item. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. I'll bring this guy in. Instead of Ruslan. Dun. 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 I could bring Tien. That's fine. I can even promote him, and then we'll have a healer. Medieval times, the rules are different. Cringe, but such is life. Yes, very much so. Okay, so bring TM for the item. I've purged the boss, that's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, but first, we need one more recipe for the night. Oh, oh, chat. Last time I think we did the omelette. What, what, um, what recipe do you want to read? Chat. I don't care which. I think all these are fine. I don't know what about this about. I don't want to make it about. Uh, we got one vote for chicken thighs, one for banana bread, two banana breads, Japanese curry toast, kaya toast, curry, banana bread. I think there's a lot of banana breads. Some curry. I'll make a poll in YouTube chat. This is going to be hard to decide. This is an important question. Which recipe? Uh, I don't know how many options I can add. Let's see. Kaya toast. Uh, omelette we did last time. Banana bread. Add option. Chicken thighs. Japanese curry. All right. Can you tell? Oh, I'll add. Let's see. Is it, this is it. This is all I can do. Okay. Four options. That's all you get. Uh, we already did omelette. It was a special omelette, to be fair. All right, you can vote in chat now or in the in a poll. I don't have it pinned. I guess I'll just pin it now. Can I pin it? Oh, I guess it's kind of pinned. Okay, so it's at the, it's at the top. You can vote there. Okay, we got mostly banana bread votes. Japanese curry. Yeah, Japanese curry is not beating this. I think there's a lot of people who just want to know how to make banana bread. Guys, you you know Google exists, right? 
Dun, 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 dun. You don't like banana bread? I've had I've eaten banana bread before. It's not bad. It's kind of like if someone brings it, it's like, oh, banana bread, nice. Okay, let's read it. I always keep bananas in my house to eat with my cereal or oatmeal in the morning. Some weeks I'm less diligent about finishing them all, and this recipe comes in handy for repurposing repurposing heavily browned bananas. That sounds useful. This recipe is simple, quick, and easy to adjust to your liking. I was a bit surprised at how using mayo would work, but it is one of my favorite quick treats to prepare. I hope you can enjoy this recipe. Mayo. Hmm. Core ingredients, 3-5 to five bananas, crushed. I usually use medium-sized Cavendish bananas. A half cup or 100 grams of mayonnaise. An egg. One and a half cups or 300 grams of flour. I love that they use both the metric system and uh, whatever the fuck the USA is. Uh, the freedom units. One teaspoon or five grams of baking soda. Uh, 2.5 grams of salt. 150 grams of sugar. I usually do a fourth or a half cup of white or brown sugar, depending on who is around to eat with me. I prefer brown sugar usually. Optional add-ins. The below ingredients I use as add-ins, depending on what I am feeling at the time, and I enjoy mixing and matching. Imperial. No, the US uses nonsense. You can't call it imperial. That doesn't make it well, uh, well thought out. Lately, I cook with all three, but you can choose to skip these depending on what you prefer. One cup espresso um, or dark coffee, uh, Milo powder, and, you know, something. I don't know what this is exactly. Uh, instructions, preheat the oven to 175 Celsius. In one bowl, mix together bananas, mayo, egg, and optional wet ingredients. In another bowl, combine baking soda, salt, and optional dry ingredients. Add flour mixture to the wet mixture. I guess I can like end the poll just so people don't think they have a voice anymore. Democracy is ended, guys. We were voting on what recipe to do. Add flour mixture to the wet mixture and stir until combined. Be careful not to overmix, just to ensure it is all coated nicely. Grease a loaf pan with oil by wiping the bottom and sides with your preferred cooking oil, or use a spray oil to lightly coat. Pour the mixture into the greased loaf pan. Cook in the oven about 60 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. <laughs> the toothpick never comes out clean. Allow to cool and serve. That is pretty short. Chat, you voted for a short and simple recipe. It does take like some time, but it is pretty simple. Maybe I'll make this. Wouldn't it be funny if I like got a GoPro camera, put it on my head and just made a banana bread based on Vision Quest? That'd be so funny. Make a cooking video. This is how democracy ends. With a thunderous round of applause, for sure. Not a cooking stream, no, 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 no. A cooking video. I need to edit that. A cooking stream would take too long. Plus, like, it's like 60 minutes of waiting. <laughs> I guess I could play Fire Emblem in one waiting. <laughs> anyway, um, that's gonna be it for me tonight. I am tired as heck. I'm going to bed. I hope you enjoyed these two chapters of Vision Quest. And the next stream will be, as usual, on, I believe we're, yeah, we're on Wednesday now, so that'll be Saturday next time. It's always Wednesdays and Saturdays. You can always catch me live at the same time, uh, 8 p.m. Uh, Central European time or 2 p.m. Eastern time. So that's when it always starts, if you don't want to miss me. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for all the support, watching, etc. And uh, have a good one.